Good morning, and welcome to Stranded Alien Dawn. Uh, this game was premiered at the uh, opening night live of, I think, Summer Games Fest this year. When we saw the trailer for this, it looked like it was going to be an open world, like, third person, first person game. Where you'd go across an alien planet and, of course, do all the things that you would do in Conan Exiles or in uh, Rust, cutting down trees and building a base. But then they showed gameplay, and it was like a complete like expectation versus reality thing, where it actually is a little bit more like a 3D rim world, which we didn't really know at the time. It just kind of looked like a weird reimagining of what they were trying to make, but it's actually kind of cool. I've completed the tutorials for this game, involving things like power and automated defense turrets and farming and much more. Remember. So it seems quite fun. There's a little bit of promise for it being a uh, you know 3D rim world with... Lots of base building, big old open map like in Dawn of Man, and uh, also lots of uh, kind of graphic styles that remind me of uh, Surviving the Aftermath for some reason. Don't know why, but anyway, welcome aboard. Good to see you all here. Hi, chat. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Good morning. And Lone Digger, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Plus again, or actually for the first time. Green Eyes in the chat, show him some love. Welcome aboard, dude. That is awesome, man. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you caught the stream just as it started. Absolutely, yeah. So this game should be available today. If not, should be out now. I think I got a notice on my phone about it uh, from Steam. So it should be out now. And uh, should be a good time. So, uh, yeah, we got to defend against aliens, of course. Got to build defense turrets, that kind of thing. Got to feed people. Got to install electrical um, batteries and things like that. So we got to work through all of uh, that. And, of course... Uh, keep our people not dying to death by giving them medical care. Kind of reminds me of uh, Going Medieval, which we also played recently on the channel, too. So, yeah. This game's cool. Yeah, it seems uh, cool so far. And it looks great. Uh, but it's completely different to what the trailer shows. In fact, I feel like I just want to show the trailer just to show you guys, like, the difference between uh, the game trailer versus the uh, actual, like, what this game's going to be. They look like two completely different games, but it kind of is applicable. Let's actually take a look at the trailer. I want to pull it up just to just to be like, yeah, why did they do that? I don't know why. But then again, you know, I feel like with RimWorld, even though it looks different, you can kind of picture it as a different way in your mind. Okay, let's find out the... I'm going to go find the trailer for this thing and play that because it'll be funny. All right, let's see here. Stranded Alien Dawn. Yeah, that's it. Oh, Gamescom. It was at Gamescom 2022. Really? Okay. Anyway, here's the trailer for it, and then we'll jump in for some gameplay. I just want to see the trailer because it's kind of hilarious <laughs> that there's such a big change. All right, here we go. Wait, what? <laughs> Oh, and the music in this game is phenomenal, too, by the way. It's it's all this guitar, like Last of Us slash Surviving the Aftermath music. It's pretty damn good. So you think to yourself, oh, dude, a 3D, like, open world, like, third person, and then you're like, what the hell is this? They're so different, but yet, like, this is good, they just... It's like a chicken sandwich versus a hamburger, it's like, they're the same, but different. But they show so li little of the footage of the game, but anyway. But I've got to say, though, uh, yeah, the music is phenomenal, and... Uh, I was immediately thinking, like, oh, dude, is this, like, uh, Subnautica? Like, the Aurora's coming down? You know, escape shuttle? But anyway, you know what it is. Earth-like planet, gotta survive, don't die to death. 
leading cause of on lifing is to dying to death. All right, let's jump in. Let's go uh, play some of the game. Now, I've only played uh, the tutorials like kind of once, so I think it's going to be more important to like do a couple of uh, standard games where we just die, because dying will be the uh, easiest way to learn by doing it wrong. There we go. But the tutorials do show you things like game basics, so like, you know, that's just camera controls and how to build a shelter. And then there's combat and healing in the game. Of course, survivor management, which is like prioritizing things like, you know, giving your people, you know, one to four or five, whatever, with the, you know, like harvesting, planting, gathering, building, and that kind of thing. Then you got your defenses, so you can literally build massive defensive walls and then fire up some flamethrowers and stuff. And then there's actually... Um, Rooms light and temperature, so you gotta light your rooms, keep them either hot or cold, and of course give your people um, clothing too to get through the pretty harsh winters, and then electricity and grids. So one cool thing I like about this, I, I don't think I've seen anywhere else, is that in this game you should be able to um, generate electricity, store it, and then if there's uh, low power you can also make like a, a diesel backup generator. You can try to go all solar and all wind, and then of course, if it's you know a little darker out, or if it's maybe winter, the um, maybe the winters are longer because we're on a different planet. So maybe you have to fire up the diesel generator. But then that means you gotta you know make diesel and stuff too, which you can find because your ship has exploded. So this is basically like no humans have ever been on this planet, and the only type of metal you're gonna find is from your spaceship that continuously is like orbiting the planet. Yet things are kind of falling to. Uh, the Earth's surface. We'll just call it Earth. Welcome to it. All right, let's go. Stranded Alien Dawn. Scenario, crash, crash landing. While en route to the Outer Worlds, the passenger ship Alien Dawn suffers a catastrophic hyperdrive malfunction and starts breaking apart in orbit of an unknown planet. Up to four passengers reach one of the emergency landing pods. This is the story of their survival. Their mission is to find a way back to civilization. Interesting. Uh, can you manipulate the terrain or trans uh, terraform? I have not seen that yet. So I'm going to say more than likely not, but perhaps. Uh, we're going to build in Sobrius. Oh, remember, this is early access too. So all the stuff that we see is like not final. So there's probably going to be a lot more added. A temperate mountains area with large meadows. Nice. Moon Concordia. Oh, there's going to be lots of moons to build on. That's cool. Also, those creatures are mean. Uh, Concordia is the goddess of balance, of holding on and letting go. This too shall pass. Uh, game modifiers, easy, medium, or random. Oh, you get more starting resources. I guess we could start on easy to see the most amount of the game in the shortest amount of time. Seed, garbage bowl. Oh, that, oh gar garage bowl. Garage bowl. And game rules. Overqualified or lost cause. Overqualified survivor skills are set to 10, 6 indifferent, 0 if incapable. Lost cause. Survivor skills are set to 0 regardless of biofacts and traits. Wow. So you could start literally from 0. I don't think that's really realistic though. I feel like you would know some, at least something. All right, so these three I don't think we can really change. Let's do an easy start. Seed. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. And I guess we're just gonna do no game rules because these seem to just be things to make it extra hard for an extra challenge. All right, let's go. Ah, cool, we get to pick characters too. Oh, and they're all like pre-builds. Can you make your own? Obviously, these guys then have different uh, things that make them better at different skills. So crafting, combat, healing, and kind of mid-tier. Things like traits, inspirational writer, quick sleeper, glutton, son of Carter, mother of Laura. Half sister of Ken. Grandson of Yoko. Is there is that character? Oh yeah, okay. Oh wow.
Half brother. Wow. Okay. So all these characters are somehow related to, in some cases. Why? I guess they're all in the space industry. Kind of cool how they also have like realistic photos. For the most part, are some of these people like aliens at all? Yeah, the portraits are amazing for sure. I feel like these, it'd be nice if the skills were randomized, otherwise you might pick the same people all the time. Doomed, oh, the, oh my god. Yeah, they're, they're not all people. This guy's a doomed cyborg bodyguard. Shoots twice as fast with a ranged weapon. Occasionally intimidates others, making them feel unease. Wow. Uh, let's... Is there a way to clear? Add or remove. There we go. Alright, let's pick people who we're interested in. So it looks like... If they're really good at something, it says that they're interested in it. So maybe it's also a skill that they can improve upon, too. And incapable means they can't do it whatsoever. So they're not going to be able to learn that skill at all, too. So if we go with this guy, no matter what, he won't be able to, to learn combat at all. Will not fight or hunt in any circumstances because of his pacifist trait. Makes sense. Looks like the characters can marry and have children. Yeah, maybe maybe there'll be a way where they can... Oh, ma yeah, maybe, maybe families can actually be made in... Oh, that'd take years, though. Well, this guy's good at combat. I like Ken. Gains happiness when killing or observing death. Whoa. Finds twice more scrap during scavenge operations and expeditions. Damn. A bloodthirsty marauder. Jeez, dude. That'll be interesting. Well, uh, let's see. This guy's good at uh, construction. Has permanently increased happiness. Loves going on expeditions. Expeditions take less time. That seems cool. Uh, incapable healer. Well, that's not going to be good. We need a healer. Uh, she's at five for healing. Oh, she reminds me of... Um, What's her name from uh, the Fireflies? Marlene. <laughs> well, let's see. Can't can't fail a medical treatment. Makes others happy when playing music. Recovers health twice as slow. So she's a very good healer. And intellect is for what? Research speed. Okay. So combat. That's self-explanatory. Construction, the ability to construct enduring structures. Oh, affects construction speed and likelihood of construction sites to fall apart. Oh, there's a chance construction can fail? Allows the construction of more advanced buildings. Okay, good thing we're going with him. Cooking, crafting. Experienced farmers can handle more advanced crops and harvest plants quicker and with less chance to lose harvest in process. Wow. All right, well, he he will be our builder and our researcher, I guess. He can get better at it. That's cool. Ooh, a corporate spy. 100% health. Recovers twice as fast. Damn. Fast walker. All right. Diamond, you're on board. And... Another good combat person. Refuses to eat meat. You're out. It's gonna be way too hard. Manipulation efficiency is increased by 50%. Who would we manipulate? Incapable of crafting. Ah, good, a good farmer. Seeds and harvest plants twice as fast, has 25% more movement speed and manipulation efficiency. And I think that triangle underneath their name is how high they can get their skill at maximum. 
Which wouldn't make sense because her farming skill looks like it's all, all the way to the left. Oh, it shows the highest skill among the selected crew. Oh, this is for balancing purposes. That's interesting. So our crew, our, our weakest stuff right now is crafting and farming. So if we get her, at least that'll bring the crafting up. So the triangle on the bar at the bottom is like the overall skill. So we're pretty good in construction and combat. Not great at cooking. Crafting is okay. Healing's okay. Intellect's pretty good. Okay. Well, that's a good way to make sure you get a balanced crew. Well, that, that helps to balance things out. Nice. All right, let's go. Yeah, brother, yeah. Brother, yeah, brother, yeah. That's a cool picture. In fact, I'll take that one. Oh. Oh, nice. I didn't know you get to see the crash. Crying. There's no crying in baseball. Oh boy. Debris is still falling from the uh, ship explosion from earlier. Smoke inhalation. Get away from the crash. Go over there. She's having a meltdown. Oh, we're, we're off to a great start. Oh, are these watermelons? Squash-like plant. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a watermelon. They should put pumpkins in the game. That'd be timely. Yeah, YouTube will force your... Uh, I, I've noticed that more and more frequently now. YouTube is just like... Like when I went to go see that trailer a moment ago... YouTube's just like auto 144, 360p'ing like all videos and stuff, even though I have it set to like a higher quality. Hey, we got some blueberries. A peculiar bush. Let's go ahead and observe that because we need to find out if these berries are poisonous or not. Can someone from the crew help her? I don't know. Um... Oh, she's fine now. She's good. She didn't need to cry it out. She had to have a good cry. All right. I think if she stays clear of the crash for a while, that'll be alright. Okay, let's scavenge the uh, site. If we can ask Ken to do that, that'd be awesome. I think we need to do manage activities. We'll put Ken as like the top scavenger yeah I think I think Ken is our guy for scavenging he gets more no not Quinn there we go wow look at all this stuff already all over emergency rations First aid kit, scrap metal. Alright, let's build a initial storage area. We're, we're just going to build a simple camp. What's really cool about this game too is I've noticed that you can put multiple shelters together to kind of make bigger temporary buildings. So it's really nice to actually like build in this game where not everything's separate. And also you can make a few structures out of like different material. So some structures can be built on... Um, Scrap metal and some could be made of metal. Yeah, Chad, is that you? Are you in are you in that blueberry bush, Chad? Alright, let's build uh We'll build like a big O storage. I I really like this. I think this is cool how when you build a shelter like this for supply, if you build it back to back, it makes like one big building like that. So then we can put like building materials on one wall, food on the other, or medical supplies or whatever. And then we can build our, like, personal shelter a little further away. Like over here. Kind of cool. Alright, we gotta get our beds going. 
Just sleep on the ground for now. It sucks, but that's where we're at. And then the uh, campfire, which we'll need some more materials for. Alright, let's give some orders. Let's go ahead and start cutting down some trees, brother. Kind of cool, our people, I think, start with some basic supplies. Let's go take a look around the planet. So we can mine stone, we can... Oh, wow. That... Oh, that looks great. Oh, God. Oh, they have babies, too? These look like giant eggs or something. Oh, a nest. Yeah. So some stingy boys can come from over here, but I wonder if we can hunt these guys like in Donna Man. Looks like part buffalo, part elephant, and what the hell is that? Praying mantis of some sort. Yeah, we should have killed them before they laid eggs. Oh great, so there's two giant camps of these like stingy boys. Lots of debris for us to go and salvage. What is that? More debris. More stingy boys. Great. They're everywhere, dude. We got a huge area we can explore. Wow. Dude, we can go all the way down to this massive lake? Dude. I wonder if we can fish. That's pretty impressive, man. I was, I was not expecting it to be this much. That's about as far as we can go, but... Can't even really see the camp from here. I'm pretty sure we could build up here too. <laughs> if we wanted to move the base, we could just build on the, like the top of a mountain. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of Donna Man too. Oh, there's been other crash sites here, so maybe there's other survivors. This has been overgrown for a little while. So we have to study these plants to find out which of them are like um, possibly cotton. Which ones are poisonous? Which ones are food? This could be like a corn. These guys could be... I, I've never gotten this far, so these guys could be extremely dangerous, or they could be just friendly, like birds. Wow. Day after Thanksgiving. That looks like a Bulbasaur turtle. Looks like he could attack ranged-wise. And the music is phenomenal. Unfortunately, we're surrounded by a lot of these stingy boys, and they've got some... We can give orders to actually attack these, so we got to get some weapons and stuff going. Anyway, let's get back to the camp then. Well, let's start making some stockpiles. Yeah, deskitos, exactly. These stockpiles are literally just, like, squares with rocks. Simon's still studying that. Chad, are you still in there? Simon, check it out. Are they are they in there? Oh, he's getting some food now. He got hungry. Scavenging. Let's go ahead and... I'm going to cut down some more trees, because seriously, we might need more food. And... Or to cook the food, we're going to need firewood, I mean. I think we can do that with the basic rations. And we're going to need to build a house. Those could have food in them too. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out like what what's edible, what's dangerous, what's a crop for... I think this is for healing up here. I think these mushrooms are for healing. It makes like a healing salve. Not sure what these are for. And then I think this is actually where we can get leather. This has like a really tough skin to it that we can cut through and then use for binding. So we can use it like leather script, uh, scripts or a scrap. 
Uh-oh. Oh wow, the animals are fighting. Okay. Just like I suspected, this guy here is... Looks like he can attack with pollen or something like that. Oh great, these are like those damn... These birds are aggressive, dude. They're like the, uh... Yeah, they look like dodos, but they're like the, um... That re really pissed off bird from, like, New Zealand. Well, alright, we're learning by observing. Transporting... I don't know what that is. At least we got a pumpkin patch next to us. Happy Halloween, chat. We're gonna make jack-o'-lanterns. How seasonal. Yeah, danger dodos. Actually, let's also observe these plants. Maybe observing will help us to find out something more about the plant. Maybe it's also edible. An edible tree? Who knows? It's like, oh, it's made from potato. Alright, so we got scrap metal, wood, raw fabric, cloth, and leather. Cooked meals, medicine, apparel. Oh, we got two laser pistols, brother. Hell yeah. Probably give Ken a gun already. Advanced short range weapon. Has high attack rate, but deals light damage. Alright, well, we better equip everybody with a gun. Simon's the only other one who could use a gun. With any sort of effectiveness. Time to make beef jerky? True. True. Yo! Roger, thanks very much for the 18 months. Those are terror birds, yeah. Those are certainly going to be uh, terrible to deal with. That's for sure. I still need to build a campfire. I guess our people are working on storing all the stuff that we've got from the ship. They're still working on putting things in st Sturge. And Ken is salvaging the rest of whatever is on the ship. I wish it would work like it did in the trailer. You remember when we saw the trailer where they were like stacking firewood and stuff inside the uh, actual ship? It'd be cool if you, could Welcome. if you could actually use this as like a, a initial base. Like it seems like it'd be a lot nicer to sleep inside of that ship. Then it would be under some shack, you know? A lot more safe, too. Amazon just delivered your official Raptor Halloween costume. Oh, is it a bear, Smiley? Music's good, man. Apparently there's going to be more music in the future, too, if you... Like, go to the... Music tab, there's like a radio station. It's just called Dark for now, or Off. So, yeah. Yeah, we're bed short, you're right. We'll have to build another one. I wonder what would happen if we build another shelter like this. I wonder if the game is smart enough to like make an opening. Versus if we do it like this. Ah, okay. Well, we can make beds out of fabrics, but we'll make a nicer bed soon enough. And what do we need for a campfire? Looks like there's multiple recipes, too. Either stone and wood, sticks, or scrap. I we have to go get some more stones. Detail's really nice, though. Like, seriously. Ground looks good. Grass, rocks, different varieties. Different types of weeds and such in different positions. Looks good. 
Okay, let's study the pumpkins. We'll give orders for a few things. What did we find out about these fruit bushes? Uh, harvestable yield bush fruits, 30. Fail chance at farming, 30%. No failure at farming, 3. Okay, so we need to have somebody with farming, 3 harvest these. Would be a good idea. Oh, where's our last guy? Ken, you're still out working? What a champion, dude. I guess when he gets tired, he can go build the bed. And we'll give orders to mine the rocks. We can make a campfire. What are these? Oh, wow. We can, like, study everything in this game. That's cool, man. That, that could be medicinal right there. That could be for making bandages or something. Oh, there's some of these little red plants here. And another spaceship debris to scavenge. Alright, good news is if anything attacks, it's probably going to come from down here. So at least we've got like one side of the camp kind of defended. And I've seen that we can build into the rocks too, like for example... Uh, we could build into, like, um, if there's a different rock formation I could show you. But if there's, a, like, a, a big boulder like this sitting out in the middle of the map, you can actually build your wall into it. And then, of course, the enemy can't attack through that, so that's cool. Looks like there'll be more biomes coming in the future, too. So it'll be interesting to see what other creatures and resources are available in, like, a tropical setting, which is kind of cool. Murmur. Let's see. Oh, good. Good morning. Everybody's having something to eat. All right, so we're observing the tree, the pumpkins, leaves. We're mining. Any more, like, rocks around? There's not like a single rock around here. Oh, me. Oh, 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 I want to stay away from that. No, sir. Well, it looks like we can get away with doing a lot of scavenging, so that's good. Do we actually, like, look at the rock? Oh, no, you can just mine it. Okay. I think we need to study, like, a tree or a bush to learn if we can burn it. Yeah. Wow, look at those berries, dude. Okay, well, at least we've got lots of food near us. These could be seasonal, though. It's spring. 8 degrees Celsius out in the morning. Not too warm, but uh, you can imagine what the winters will be like. Looks like you have to start the game with bare minimum. Yeah. Uh-huh. Fallen tree. Ooh. That's cool. You can get wood from other sources than just living trees. Cool. Observing squash-like plant. Observing broadleaf tree. Guess we should harvest a few of these. Food also spoils in this game, too. You will have to, um... You will have to refrigerate things and or somehow store them.
Oh, cool. It also shows who has a gun and what they're doing. Everybody's getting stuff into storage. Makes sense. There's a lot of stuff around us. Oh, we can grow our own fruit bushes. Minimum growth temperature can grow in... Uh, oh, it can survive between negative 30C and up to 50C. That's hardy. Output when cut is some sticks. Grows very slowly, but yields a plentiful harvest. Very nice. Hunting party? Yeah, I think we're going to have to go hunting soon. Got to get meat. There was that giant lake. I wonder if we can do fishing. Maybe we can equip somebody with a fishing pole and go down to the lake. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, let's see. Um... Okay, we can build beds, tables, large tables. A wedding arch? <laughs> yeah, for top priority. Ah, uh, drying rack. We can do that for uh, foods and stuff. Meats. Let's observe that bush. And let's go cut another one. We'll have Laura do that. We need sticks from that. Laura, can you go do something? She has some intellect. She should be able to observe. The only thing she really can't do is fight or heal. Now, I wonder what it's going to be like with a desert in this game. Looks like she can heat, tolerate up to like 40 degrees Celsius. But that might just be until she gets uncomfortable and crabby. Laura, what are you doing? Survivors who are ready to take on new activities. I don't know. Go, go look at that bush. There you go. Oh, it looks like you can control directly without having to draft. There we go. She should have that on her activities list. She just can't heal or do combat, so let's make sure she can at least do other things. So she's good with farming and cooking. So she's like our botanist and our chef. Having euphoria. Still suffering from smoke inhalation during the crash. So combat and healing are the two things we don't want her doing. There we go. Alright, so a lot of studying at the beginning. Probably. Now uh, let's see. Walking in the rain is unpleasant, but sleeping and soaking wet rain is outright horrible. Survivors out in the open will have decreased happiness. On the other hand, rain is great for plant and boost growth. Oh, okay. Good for farming. Can we find out what this is. Buttermelon. Damn. So we can grow m buttermelon and we can grow berries. 
Grows slowly, but yields plentiful harvest. Okay. I don't know if I want to harvest everything at the start. Of course, it's going to take a long time, too. Alright, let's start some research. Let's build another area for, like, building and uh, studying stuff. This will be our little workshop. I do like how we can start out small like this. Then when we go to build a house, it'll be pretty easy to like re rebuild this. Seems a lot like surviving the aftermath. Um, well, it looks to be, but it's more like RimWorld. It's not uh, the type of game where you're taking care of hundreds of people. It's uh, It's more like RimWorld. Surviving the Aftermath doesn't really let you equip each individual person. You assign jobs in that game. This is kind of more like uh, you assign, assign priorities and activities and scheduling too. That's another thing. Pretty cool. Let's see. Let's do... Let's start working on schedules. Let's see, work time. Let's give everybody like, wait, is it, are these different? Yeah, okay, anything. We'll let them do a little free will here. With a little staggered schedule. Can you build buildings with shared wall between two buildings? Yep, yeah, you can build a, uh, you can build like a house with like a little workshop attached to it. And then separate that with a door. So then you can have the sleeping area, eating area, and one area. And then if you want to like put a little research room or something off in the distance with like a little storage, you can do that too. If you want to build like a house with a room attached to it. That kind of thing. This looks great. Yeah, so far it's fun. It's kind of my first run building stuff in the game, so... Oh, that was only 9 out of 10? So the landing pod still has stuff that can be scavenged. I wonder if when we get more advanced technology, if we'll be able to scavenge more and more of this because we'll have like the ability to break things down. How do you get more people? I'm not sure if we can. But if we do, maybe we have to find them. Maybe, maybe people will crash in the future on this planet, just like we did, and we'll have to go find them. We also have to manage light and heat too. That's another thing that, you know, like... As someone mentioned surviving the aftermath, and that you kind of just build a house and you can build like, you know, uh, burners and stuff around it to keep warm in the winter months. But in this one, you're actually, you can actually build houses with warmth inside them and also lighting too. So that's going to be cool. Lots of complexity here. That looks like another tree. Let's observe everything. learn what each of these trees are and how they differ. And what more materials they could give us. Meat lures, traps, defenses, eventually we get turrets. We've got to unlock that stuff through science. I guess we'll build a research desk. Start doing some studying. And a crafting bench. Go out, list our discoveries here, too. I like that, man.
Oh, is that... Okay, a bunch of tipped over logs. Unfortunately, we gotta carry over everything ourselves. We don't have a Fritz with us, chat. No Fritz. Well, let's speed up time a little bit. You're getting Riders of the Storm vibes from the music? Oh, yeah. Now oh, the music's pretty good. These guys are dangerous. I don't like how close some of those guys are. I think there was something up here too, wasn't there? Oh yeah, they're there. They wander around a little bit. We're gonna have to research walls. Oh, a chopping block. Turns wood into sticks. Okay. That might be helpful. Lone Digger dropping a five bomb in the chat. Thank you very much, dude, for supporting the community. Yeah. Enjoy those gift emotes, everybody. All those of you who had your membership gifting turned on to all, there you go. Can you place walls and doors later where there's the open parts of the shacks? Uh, I think what you'd probably want to do is just, like, when you're getting ready to build a house, you'd probably build, like, a house here. And then maybe you could put, like, a little storage building onto the house. And then you could just tell them to move everything from the outside to inside. But you might want to still keep some things outside, like, uh, I think there's, like, a smelting furnace. You probably want to keep that outside. And some things you can just store outside, like firewood. Make a little... You can just keep a little shack full of firewood. No harm in that. Oh, they're mad that they had to eat on foot. It begins. They want tables. Well, we're just getting started. Lots to explore. I love this, though. We can make tables out of wood, stone, or metal. That's so cool. A little small though but once we build this then we can move it inside too uh, let's make a little well let's make a campfire first finally our stone was kind of limited let's do campfire out of scrap metal Build a table. And I guess you'd be building things more based on what you crash landed next to. So if you're like near a massive forest, you're probably going to make more things out of wood. But if there's not a lot of trees and a huge stone deposit, then you'll be making a lot of stone buildings. I'd also imagine that um, if you uh, build st like houses out of stone, they might insulate better. So that could be a good thing. All right, research. Metal refinement, lightning rods, excuse me. Oh, we can get power from that? No way. Sleep training. Number of well-known practices to shorten one's sleep cycle. They must be adapted to, to alien environments, though. Survivors need less sleep time to fully rest. Five days of research. Oh. Uh, let's start with metal refinement. That seems good. Or a spaceship deconstruction. Oh, that allows us to actually fully claim the ship. That's awesome. Oh, winemaking. Yes, of course. First thing, how to smelt. Second, wine. Insect fats. Okay. Can we queue up research? It did look like we could. Yeah. Let's do metal refinement. Tailoring. Actually, let's deconstruct the ship. Then tailoring. And then sleep. You like the info on the above people? Very useful. Yeah, it's nice to see. At a glance, you can tell that everybody's basically doing research. Or, in this case, Simon is idling. Oh, we have a nice amount of cooked uh, meals. Nice. 
We can also prohibit our people from eating raw food. There's many ways to, like, manage them. Send survivors to distant points of interest. Oh, right. We can travel via balloon in this game. Fly the balloon high and look around for points of interest. Oh, yeah. It's like Frostpunk. New expedition sites may be unlocked as a result. Each consecutive exploration will take more time. Research long distance travel. We're going to have to find out a way to make a balloon. Interesting. Storage shelf, chest, wardrobe, double wardrobe. Uh, I think we should keep cutting down trees. I wonder if bigger trees give more wood? 18 out of 20. Oh yeah, when they're fully grown, they'll give 20. Okay. So those trees give 20. These trees give... 30. Oh wow. Even more for these. So you can actually be selective in what you cut down. All right, we could order some firewood to be made, a.k.a. sticks. In st oh, that's great. It tells you exactly how many you have in stock. Oh, this is interesting. First camp. We put together a camp as quick as we could, considering the circumstances. We're not sleeping in the dirt. We have a roof over our heads and a fire to illuminate the dark on certain nights. And the most important, we've survived. To us, this feels like an achievement worth honoring. We can gather around the campfire and celebrate being alive at 1900 tonight. Uh, do it. Celebrate not dying to death. That's cool. Not sure if 38 is a lot or not, so we'll just kind of hold tight. Alright, party tonight. Cool. It takes 10 sticks to make a drying rack, so yeah, maybe we should make some more. Um, let's see. So it takes three to make... Oh, it's three to make ten. Okay. So if we're going to make thirty, yeah, okay. Alright, that's good. Oh, we can make a torch. Provides light while burning. Of course, that's going to use fuel. Oh, there's also a grave. Wonderful. Great. Oh, large drying rack. Dries raw resources over time, has a built-in roof which slows down the drying process but allows products to be stored longer before spoiling. Oh. Transforms raw red meat into dried meat and hides into leather. Well, we might need that eventually. Let's make one at least. Buttermelon sounds good. I agree. It's basically like a giant pumpkin. Dude, the campfire looks sweet. Oh, we had a celebration in an hour. Keep ordering for more salvage. What's up, Shakema? Good to see you. Campfire is sitting. 
Survivors are celebrating the fact that they're not died to death and kicking <laughs> at an impromptu party near the campfire. We're missing somebody. Laura. Laura, what are you doing? We're all supposed to be partying over here. Look at this awesome party. Don't you want to be a part of this awesome party? Nicole, welcome back as a raptor hatchling. New member, welcome. And she has this chill at the table. Okay. Big evergreen tree. Guy with the mustache looks French. I don't know if you can actually rename. Nah. The, the characters that you can pick from seem to be related to each other somehow or that they know each other or that they've some of them are family. Oh, that's cool. You can turn these things on and off if you don't like it. And you can see the, all the roofs. That'll be cool when you build like a big, a big base and a big house in the middle be able to see your whole house. I can see my house from here. Oh, what is this? Oh. The glow shrooms. Looks like they grow faster in the rain. Yeah. Yep. It looks like uh, surviving the aftermath of disappearance plays like Rim World and it's kind of like Dawn of Man as well. My observations exactly. Nap time. Alright, so we are doing research of metal refinement. Who's our biggest brain? We should probably tell them to do nothing but that. They wanted to have a little party though, so I guess we let them do that. Alright, big brain is... Oh, looks like Simon. All right, you're our head reach, uh, researcher. Where are we? It'll be top priority there. And Laura's good at farming and cooking. Farming is going to be really important. Harvesting, planting, cooking at two. Everybody can deliver at two. Yeah, that's a good start. Okay, drying rack's going to be made tomorrow. Got wood, stone. Wow, that one rock gave us quite a bit. Oh, electronic components. Raw food, just bush fruits. Okay. Good amount of emergency ration. Nice.
Can I order them to cook? Yeah. We might need to unlock a few more recipes or ingredients, though. Stuff will eventually spoil anyway. We might not want to gather everything. Quick recipes. Cooked emergency ration. Meat soup, veggie soup, grain porridge. Quickly boil emergency ration. Happiness effect plus. Let's have Laura do some of the cooking of the emergency rations then. So we have 65 emergency rations. I guess cook 65. You think an emergency ration would just be fine as it is? I guess she's preparing the MREs. What could we make at the wooden workbench? Bandages, animal fat, smoke leaf pipe, cloth. Make 10. Looks like we can make it out of synthetic textiles. Talked with Simon about weather. That's cool. They can actually like chat at the table. Nice. Smoke leaf. Grow slowly. Soil is sensitive, it yields relatively small harvest. Not sure what smoke leaf is. Oh, you can boil it for tea. Is it like tobacco? Smoke leaf can be boiled into tea after researched or dried and made into pipes. Interesting. Wow, look at this. They actually have different types of soil in the game. Loam, clay, silt, sand, and gravel. So this actually simulates that too. So if we do farming, I suppose it'll be specific for each type of... Uh... Ooh. Let's go get some meat, brother. All oh, the birds must have went crazy. That could attack one of our people. We'll have to be careful. Let's play slow. We're not in a rush. We don't know what we're doing yet. Okay, we've unlocked the smelter. That's cool. Looks like we have enough stone to make it. Nice. Yeah, drinkable tobacco. Mmm, so good. Oh, I love how it tells you what they're going to do with above their head like that. That's nice. And we need to observe these mushrooms. We're going to learn new things. We need to find more stone. So limited. Ooh. That looks like corn. We're studying everything around us. Yeah, some of the creatures here will attack us. We gotta be careful. What? That's awesome. If you select an area, it'll tell you what's there. That's great. It's good for scouting. It's like, oh, what's in this forest? Instead of scrolling around, you can exactly see what's here. 35 fallen trees, big evergreen tree. And then if you click on it, it'll show you exactly where it is. Wow, that's great. That's really cool.
Small flying lizards. Oh, that's great, man. That's really helpful. No more having to play scavenger hunt. You can literally just find out what's there. Yeah, before you go build an area, if you wanted to build a base here, you'd be like, is it safe? You could just check everything to make sure there's nothing that's going to kill you. Uh, there's where we need to do mining. That's like the closest stone. Every time you watch a stream, it's ending, so gl glad you caught this live now. Yeah, welcome aboard. If you guys are enjoying it and would like to see more, make sure you do smash like for this uh, type of game to let me know you'd like to see more. Helps to support the stream too. And we'll do some giveaways for everybody watching live today on the Discord after the stream. And we'll be playing a lot more of this, I hope. So yeah, thanks everybody for uh, tuning in, hanging out. Been enjoying it so far. I do like the fact that we have to study everything and learn before we can actually do stuff. So you can't really like get started right away. You gotta kind of research and get your surroundings. What if you want to be notified of upcoming live streams? Uh, well, you could always turn on the notification bell. Or be a part of the Discord, too. Just turn the bell to all. And YouTube will choose when it notifies you. But you have a bigger chance of being notified. Hey, Red. Thanks for the compliment, dude. Thanks for watching the streams. Oh, hey, we got some cooking going on. Nice. Boiling them rations. I, I really don't know if that would taste better. This looks like it'd be dangerous. There's this purple mist. I guess you got to take a risk and kind of just try to research everything. Everybody's doing something. Now we can smelt metals. Oh, we can scrap, uh, smelt scrap into unfinished metal alloy. Smelted and refined scrap ore can be used as crafting or construction material. Oh yeah, that's going to help with the spaceship deconstruction being researched. Excellent. I can imagine smelting taking a while, so we better do more than one. Wait a minute. I wonder if we make a recipe that requires, like, metal alloy from scrap, if they'll actually go and craft it first. That could be really interesting if they did that. It looks like that is what they're doing. Maybe. I don't think we're building anything that requires that. Cool, though. Have I ever had a boiled hot dog? No. I, I feel like I'd want it to um, be on a grill. But I guess I actually I've had boiled brats before, so kind of in the same genre. <laughs> I usually like them on a grill, though. That crispy, you know, or over a campfire. You get a little bit of that snappy skin. Well, hot sausages are awesome. Depends on the type. Yeah, true. Burner, burn. All right, so everybody's back to sleeping. Doing a little slip. You like some crunch on the lunch? Dude, hot dog seems like a pretty okay lunch. The crew could use an Xbox. You're probably right.
All right, nap time. Nap time it is. All right, let's speed up time. I do like how it's highlighting what we're supposed to research, too. Or that we're uh, scavenging. That's nice. Very nice. You can watch the streams on your TV, this is true. Yeah, YouTube's available on smart TVs. If we forbid them from eating raw foods, they will be a little happier from eating those... eat cooked foods, bruh. Meat and fruits. Okay. Oh yeah, we have that raw meat now. We can cook that too. Meat soup. To which we can make how much? We have 17 raw insect meat, okay. But it looks like it takes 10 to make one. Oh, okay, so 10 insect meat to make two soups. Uh, let's just make one. I would like to start farming, but we've got so many f <laughs> like natural things around us. I like how we plowed into a pumpkin patch. It's like, oh, how timely. Scarecrow's gonna be mad. That's who we ran over on the way down. It was a scarecrow that we just destroyed. Have we researched rat burgers yet? Maybe this weekend when we play... Uh, Plague Tale Innocence again. I want to try to play that before the Requiem comes out, which will be interesting. Do the terror birds on the mountain taste good? They could. Need to gather more smoke leaf. Let's make some wooden shells. Might be a better idea to store food off the ground. Maybe. Or maybe it adds flavor, I don't know. Got a lot of metal. Yeah, look at that. should force them to move food to that shelf there. So whenever they'll come over and pick up food and move it to the shelf. There they go. Oh, he's making the bandit bandages. Nice shelf. Thanks, Brad. 
Can we make a house yet? I guess we got to keep researching that, huh? Oh, grain cob. What? It is corn. Weird. All right. Well, let, we can make some porridge out of this. Yeah, so that's going to be for food storage, I guess. Are there story events? Yeah, one just came up earlier where we threw a party for not dying. Everybody was celebrating not dying to death. Oh, looks like we can have a dartboard. And we can build an armchair. Nice. So we're studying this. Um, this is going to give us, like, leather. To death, you say? Yeah. Dying to death is like the leasing, leading cause of unlifing. What is this? Oh, more pumpkins. What about this thing? Another survivor. What? Ah, oh, we found somebody else. A plea for help. My name is uh, Jayla Loan. I believe we met on the ship. My escape pod crashed badly and everyone else died. I fended on my own as best I could, but my rations ran out quickly and I started losing hope. I walked in the wild for days after seeing smoke from this direction. Please let me stay with you. Sure. Yay! We can get more people. Nice. Jayla is... Doing okay. What's what's your skills? Ooh. Very good at mining, scavenging, and cutting. Excellent. Okay then. Let's get you a bed. Welcome to the team. Start with basic stuff first. We gotta we gotta work our way up. Oh, that's cool. Uh, potatoes? I don't know. There, there might be potatoes in this game. Potato-like stuff. Yeah, I guess that's how we get people to join us. There's must be more ways, too. Like, for example, the expeditions we can do to other parts of the planet. Which means we're going to have to make a hot air balloon, which is like, how are we going to do that? Yeah, that's true. With potatoes, we can boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. We could ask uh, Lara to do that. Jayla hate cooking make her not cook that is a good point she oh yeah she's indifferent about it well I don't think if it's not something they like oh she's listed to do everything well let's find out what she's good at so again it was physical labor she's okay at intellect and crafting combat I guess she's just making a meal for herself I don't know why she's doing that. That's ah, because it's assigned. All right, you don't have to do that, ma'am. Go grab something off the shelf. Let's get you to do crafting. Delivering for sure. Scavenging she can do. Planting, no. Cutting she's good at. And we can put on hunting. Construction. Nope. Don't want her constructing. Oh, we gotta get her work schedule set up too.
What is handling? Doing mundane tasks such as lighting up torches, supplying fuel to devices, and opening windows. Oh, everybody could do that. You love games like this, but they go from chilled and manageable to chaos in five minutes. Well, I guess in this game you... I mean, we even are playing on a higher speed, so... I guess the more you play, the more you... The more you know. That's right. We'll just have everybody kind of in a staggering pattern so we don't have too many people doing one thing at a time. Oh. An EA feedback form. Please help us improve the game by sharing the quality of your experience in these areas. I... What? Wait, I haven't even done a lot of these things yet. The UI, I think that's... I think that's pretty nice. Combat, I've done a little bit of it. I think that's... I mean, that's what I would expect, so yeah. Characters, the, the portraits and stuff and the thought of putting that into that's really good. Resources, good diversity so far. I really like that. Research looked cool. I haven't done exploration, but it seems cool to explore by a balloon, but I, I don't know. I guess that's okay. And construction. I don't know what that means. Like the buildings in the game? I think it's pretty cool that you can put two shelters together and merge them. And I've seen some of the house buildings, so I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I made a game, guys. I helped. Excellent. I am now a game dev. Good job, Raptor. You're the best. Thanks, chat. Yep. Sorry, chat was doing a little game development there on the side. Anyway, let's get back to playing. I think that's too early to ask that question, though. However, I do like that they asked it. But also, it should have had a little checkbox that said, don't ask me again, or ask me later. Insufficient storage space. Let's make another shelf. Alright, let's actually slow down time. We're not in a rush. Plus, when winter comes, if we uh, don't have a house built, we're probably going to die. We'll put uh, building materials here. Oh, damn. Damaged wooden chair. Wait, did lightning hit it? Alright, so to repair it just cost a portion of the uh, building. Wow, we got a lot of food to make now. Uh, Lara, you need to be, like, making food full-time. Oh, man, she's got a long time to cook food. Wow. Yeah, we want to keep that wood dry. I know to food. Let's just put crafting materials here. It is in the same... Oh, that's... Where would wood be stored? Oh, maybe wood can't be stored on the shelf. Would make sense. It would make sense. Oh, construction materials. There it is. 
Ah, construction materials can't be stored on shelves. Okay. And now we know. Alright, so that has to be stored on the ground. So all this stuff. Let's put apparel in there. We'll just let everything else be stored. Except for food. That should have its own shelf. Dude, imagine bringing over one little sandwich that you made in two in two hands. Taking it one at a time. She is definitely being paid by the hour. Let's see if we can get these things out of here. Try to store everything on the shelves. Okay. Thunderstorm. Lightning strikes can damage structures and devices. Can kill plants. And it causes stockpiles to decay if they get hit. Interesting. Interesting. Oh yeah, we have a two second rule for food on the ground, yeah. Well now we do, now that we got a place to store it. What is that? 445, that must be scrap metal. Yep. So construction materials are scrap metal, sticks, wood, stone, metal alloys so far. The benches and stuff look nice. All right, they're moving some things around. What is that? Stone. Nice. M750, thanks for the 23 months, dude, is a raptor egg. Thank you very much for being a member for that long. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. You love how the crafting is just punching the table? Yeah, I know. I agree. Would be cool if there was an actual animation for each type, but it does show what they're making like on the table, or at least what they're using to craft. What's up, Daniel? That's cool. There's a little animation to it. Not too much, but it's more than what I've seen before. Oh, look at that. We can make sneakers, synthetic boots, trousers, leggings, spaceship pants, beanies. Yeah, apparently the end game goal is to make it back to civilization, but I don't know what that means. I'm assuming what might happen is we're supposed to build like a balloon to explore around us and go out on expeditions. My guess would be that maybe perhaps we could find like um, another ship that's crashed that has a rescue beacon and turn it on and then maybe survive or something until a, another ship comes to pick us up. You know, like Subnautica style. All right, we could do more salvage, but I don't think we need to just yet. Yeah, we could make a cooking stove, you're right. Yeah, cook stove. Let's upgrade that. Build that over here. So now we'll make more food. Got the research desk going, heating stove. There was a torch we could build for outside. Another thing, too, is that at nighttime, combat gets harder because they can't see as well. So there is a chance to, like, miss and stuff during combat if it's too dark. But you can bypass that by, like, building lights and stuff, which is kind of neat. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, the disturbed sleep thing is definitely that we don't have beds, but 
Uh, we need, like, wooden fabric. Or fabric for a wooden bed of different types. I think we're still studying this. Once we get once we get a little bit more research and studying done, we can actually make a house, like a decent building. Takes a while though. Yeah, I wish we could build our first. I, I wish we could just sleep in here. It's fine. At least they have little hatchets and stuff. That's cool. Oh, we need more storage space, huh? We actually have more... Well, there's more space on these shelves. This shelf can hold anything other than... Oh, they're still moving it, I think. Maybe. Wait, these are all the construction materials, aren't they? Medicine, and I think those are rations that still need to be moved. Now we just need somebody to full-time haul. Let's ask... Uh-oh. Uh Sleep parasite. An unknown parasite is causing me fatigue and drowsiness. For now, there's no cure, but a skilled healer may be able to think of something. A parasite? Increase the need for sleep. Rest from full sleeping cycle, negative 10%. Hmm. Well, our healer would be Ken, I think. Ken is at... 3 for healing. Yep. I wonder if there's a medical thing. Ah, construction basics. Good. So when we get down to here, we can finally start building a base, and then we can also make wooden fortifications. We can make rooms out of concrete, brick, unlock long-distance travel. Oh, we can make armor as well out of carbon, yep. Yeah. Wind turbines, printed uh, components. Wind turbines, diesel generators, brother. Refrigerators, freezers, energy storage. Look at this, man. Power cells, nanotubes, tea boiling. Wait, really? That that <laughs> that that late in the production chain? Put leaf in water and boil. Is that? Hell yeah, though, brother. We can make beer. Oh, some of these things weren't listed before. More and more research is actually becoming researchable as we explore the environment around us, too. Because now that we know certain plants exist... Oh, this might be it here. Maybe we need antibiotics? I don't know if you'd use antibiotics to cure a parasite, but that seems to be the only option at the moment. Uh, let's do... Oh, we can make vegetable oil. You can make beer before tea. It looks like they have their priorities in order. Yeah. I don't know what the vegetable oil will be used for, though. Is that for just cooking? Maybe it'll increase the cooking. Oh, maybe it'll unlock new recipes. We'll see. Yeah, we're uh, researching spaceship deconstruction right now, I think. Actually, it would be nice if it showed on screen what you were what you were researching next. Oh yeah, we are, yeah. 
It's going to take uh, one day. I wonder if you have multiple research tables, if you can do multiple research at a time. I don't think so, but I think it'll speed it up. But a couple... Most of our people are kind of dumb brain at the moment, which is fine. Nothing wrong with a little dumb brain. All right, let's get through the night. We have all this storage space here. I can't believe... Is that not enough to... Group items by type. Oh yeah, we made the uh, stove now. Oh, look at this. Quick recipes we can make tasty or chef. Ooh, different tiers. Bread, meat pie, buttermelon pie, veggie pizza, meat stew, veggie stew. Fruit cake, chef steak, fruit flambe, sweet meat bites, mushroom croquettes, and ratatouille. Oh yeah, there you go. So it takes chew roots, beef berries, and oils and fats. So the oil will be used for cooking. We can make more grain porridge. Let's make it until we have like five of them. Gonna need to play this game a little bit more to find out exactly how, like, what what food means a lot of food. Yeah, I like how, we, as we discover more and more things, we're discovering more and more recipes and stuff too. So, it's kind of misleading. Like, you look at it and you're like, oh, you o you only get to build these things, but, you know, like, as we discover more materials like carbon, this could unlock like maybe vaults and safes and things to keep it so people can't steal from us, maybe? Alright, I think we're gonna make a more... Uh, a nicer storage area. Is there a cap to how many people you can have? I'm not sure, actually. We just had a new person move into the camp, so... I'm assuming we can get far more than just five. Hopefully. Uh, just joined in. What's up? The walls, why do they look weird? Uh, they're made of scrap. They're just like little... It's just corrugated like steel. These are just temporary shelters. We haven't even begun to build the base yet. We're still researching that. Co-op or multiplayer? I haven't seen it yet. All right, well, we have tons of scraps. So let's make another storage. I'm wondering, too, if... Can we salvage these? Oh, yeah, we can. And we'll get 15 scrap metal back. So then they can... We can actually smelt all this back down. When we're done with these buildings, we can just smelt them down and turn them into iron. You gotta make do with what you got. Morgan's right. Big brain emo right there. Oh, what's this? Hi, Raptor. Welcome to the closed beta of Warhammer 40k Darktide. Poglad! Well. <laughs> that's going to be awesome, too. Lots of good games coming out, guys. Also, I noticed last night, Farthest Frontier has an update, a big update, coming out by the end of the month. So for those of you wanting me to return to Farthest Frontier, we will return to that probably by the end of the month, or whenever the update is. What is your plan going forward? Well, it's kind of more of a scouting run in the game. You know, this is our first time playing, so we're kind of learning for ourselves what everything does. Like, I don't know what this plant is or does, right? But once I learn this for the first time, I'll remember it forever. So this could be, I don't, could be, could give us gunpowder-like materials. It could be poisonous. It could be food. I, I don't know. So 
you know, first playthrough is always rough, but very exciting because everything's new. Every every click unveils something new about the gameplay and about what's possible, what can be built, what can't be done. I mean, you know, you one minute you can e be eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking and doing what they say can't be done, you know? Eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking. Yeah. Are we going to do what they say can't be done? Exactly. Also, I like how you can build separate shelves here. So you can separate the storages that way. Or you can make, like... You can make, you know, one a one by two. Or you can make, like, multiple individual shelves. What happens if I build a... A wardrobe? That's just for clothing. Oh. Clothing, items, and weapons. Provide storage... Cannot fit large construction resources. Oh, maybe that's what these are for? No. I guess the... The storage... Oh, let's build a storage shelf. I mean, a chest. That seems to cost more resources than the shelf. Is it... Does it store more? Let's build one. Floors? Yeah, we have to research that. We're working on it. We can't... We're, we're kind of building just a survivor camp. Right now, we're just surviving. And we're researching building a base. Like, right now, we got our researcher working on a bunch of stuff. But not until we get to construction basics can we do that. But we're researching all the prerequisite stuff, like... Salvaging from the spaceships and stuff so we can use more materials. So, building a base is cool, but it's kind of impossible to do without more things to build with. But it certainly seems like you would, might want to keep some of these little, um, you know, these little shacks and stuff. Because then it'd be a good spot to store your construction materials since those just need to be stored on the ground. If you have a ton of logs and fire, would you just store that outside? Brum, 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 brum. Hmm. Rain again. Oh, we discovered glitter caps. Those are the uh, mushrooms. Sturdy for cooking or in the production of healing balm. Wow, those mushrooms can be used for two things. All right, that's pretty important then. We should go gather a few more of those. Quite a few more of those. We're going to need healing items if somebody gets sick. And or wounded. Look at that. Ken showing some hustle. Nuggets are the best healing item. Amen, brother. Veggie armor? Excuse me? Untempted veggie leather is not as strong enough to be used as armor. We just need to temper with it. Oh my god. We Yeah, we can take the skin of this plant, dry it out, and then it becomes as strong as leather. That's awesome. Wow. Can we grow this ourselves? Oh, it's called skin bark. Yeah. Found that the bark was rough and almost felt skin like. Wow. That's pretty badass. You might buy this, honestly. I hope you uh, enjoy it if you do. Okay, well, now we can make armor. That's cool. And other things. We could probably dry that at the drying rack. Or not. Well, we'll find out. Well, look at all the things we can... Oh, we can actually grow these now. Nice. I'm not sure if we should start farming now or next year because we got so much other stuff going on. 
And there's plenty of food around us. We'll scavenge and forge for the first year, maybe. Pacific Blue, welcome back as a raptor egg. Thank you very much for the big O support. Brother, yeah. Good. I love the music, man. Yeah, observing the observing the plants is, seems to be what lets us plant them. I'm not sure if we can plant some of the bigger stuff, though. But we'll see. Because these one these seem awfully big. Like these red plants. We'll see. I guess we can get somebody else here to make more. I guess we should kick, cook up all these emergency rations, get that done, and then cook until we have... Thirty more. Actually, we could cook something else. We'll just cook, cook forever. Just cook until they're all gone. Fine. Oh, that's cool. Now we can see the count. Blue. So if you kick, click that button up there, it'll show you what is there and how much of it. So 76 logs, 28 synthetic uh, fabric, 7 electronic parts. Nice. How's research coming along, boys? We got about another day to go. Then we could do more research on armor. Oh, we could also research pickling. Yeah. Railgun snipers. Is that a defensive turret? Railgun snipers use the electric energy of a power cell to magnetize and shoot out large metallic bullets at high velocity. The CPU core control targeting assistance provides longer range and deadlier accuracy. Oh, baby. Laser pikes. Oh, damn. Now we're getting into a... Uh... Now we're getting into some heavy weapons. Leather armor, synthetic armor, weapon smithing, including bows. All right, there we go. Now we can start fighting. Research that next. Got to get the base building up first, though, so we can at least get everybody inside for the winter. Luckily, it's still spring. Is this based off the other Alien Dawn? Um, this is the only Alien Dawn I know of. The name Alien Dawn is the name of the ship that exploded, like the Aurora in um, Subnautica, kind of. But eventually, the goal is to leave this planet and go home. Sarcasm was your first language? Same. Now I'm just being sarcastic. Everybody napping. These beds need an upgrade. Cyclone leaf. Oh, that's what that's called. Oh, cool. You can actually click on these and it'll give you a little briefing. So that gives us silicon. Pointy red plant has a bulky core with a peculiar pattern that synthesizes an unlikely substance, silicon. Never heard such of a plant before, so it might be unique to this world. I've named it silicon leaf. Oh, wow. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's valuable to click on those then. Love the briefing that it gives you. Like, th this is short and sweet right here. Shroom torches. <laughs> oh, it's uh, because they glow. So they tie a bunch of mushrooms to a spear. That's cool. Oh, poisonous if consumed raw, but if they're gathered and cooked, then they're okay. So these are really valuable. Food, healing, and also light source, which is okay, I guess. Uh, idling. Oh, that's fine. It's like free time. That's fine. Harvest a little bit more of that. Okay, can we make that leather now? Yeah, we can. Just make it forever. I think that'll be the only thing that's good for for now. Lights don't die when you pick the mushroom. Yeah, it's probably a chemical inside the mushroom that illuminates for a long time. What's up, Riza? So construction materials, miscellaneous. Oh, how much does this store? Looks like they put rations and medical stuff in there. That's fine. Oh. Oh, that's cool. This didn't build exactly up against the wall, which means that even though it's grid-based, there's still a little nuance somehow to where you can build. How did that happen? Maybe it's just because there's a slope there? I don't know. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, you think I put it backwards? Oh, maybe. Well, I don't know. It feels like you should be able to uh, get to that at any direction, right? Oh, it looks like it... Oh, what? Oh, you're right. There's... Oh. <laughs> well, I figured since it was just a shelf, you could get to it from any direction. So that's cool, though. Like, if you build it, you know, in rows of two, then you can build a big warehouse. Okay. But, uh, can they still use it, though? Yeah, they can still use it. Oh, wait, now it's fixed. No, that's the other one. Maybe this one's unusable. Ooh, all right. Laura upgraded to cooking level three. Hell yeah. How long till we can build a tavern? Well, I mean, technically we can. I mean, we can research brewing, and then we can have an on-brew... I mean, an on-site brew. What do they call that? Um... You know, when they have, like, an in-house brewery at the bar or whatever? But there's, like, a name for that. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, but this one's usable. Yeah, microbrewery? Something like that. I guess. I mean, it'll... <laughs> it's a brewery for five people. That's pretty micro. No, it'll be like Cheers. It'll be a place where everybody knows your name. Because there's only four other people. Amen, brother, yeah. I do appreciate the uh, Tucker Hat soundtrack. Oh, we just researched uh, spaceship construction. Excellent. Or deconstruction. So now we can get even more materials out of these things. That's cool. So rather than just like mining, we can just salvage for a very long time. That's cool. 
I appreciate that the ships don't just like get salvaged in, you know, like the first two days and that's it. I like that, Smiley. I wonder if the ship will become more visibly dismantled. I hope so. This game panning out well? Well, so far it's um, a solid little base builder survival game so far. We have yet to really get into any sort of combat, major farming, or base building, but the beginning of these games can be really slow and boring with not a lot to do and build, but it's actually like quite fun to be able to uh, research things and discover new things. Crushingly unhappy could develop a meltdown at any moment. Very few fun things to do. Starving? You're just hungry, that's all. We, girl, we got plenty of food. Go eat. Here, do you... Alright. Everyone gets a midday break now. There. Actually, I'll, I'll let you do anything. There. An hour break. Go have a lunch, go lay down, whatever you want to do. But as a caveat to that, eight more working hours. It's just good business. Wait a minute. Nice. There we go. She's that kind of hungry where, like, you go to the fridge at, like, 2.45 a.m. and just eat, like, half a jar of pickles. And you just drink six gallons of water. As if you were coming out of the uh, Sahara or something like that for the first time. You'd like to see me play more of this if possible? I'm interested, yeah. If you are too, uh, smack like and, and let me know you'd like to see more. I've been enjoying this. Certainly a game we have to play a little bit more of. Yeah, an entire sleeve of crackers, yeah. Alright, limit reached on bandages. We need to make veggie leather. Let's make some more of that. Hopefully these plants over here regrow. I don't know if we can actually plant those. Oh, we can. Well, let's harvest what's around us for now, and then we'll start farming maybe next year. Find out what we need the most of and farm that. Oh, it's not ready for harvest. Oh, each of them are kind of different. 11, 6, 63, okay. Where? Lots of trees here. Wait, what was that? Oh, a shroom torch. <laughs> it's literally, it's just a little garden for mushrooms. Okay. Okay, everybody's kind of mad. There is something we can make to uh, kind of chill them out a little bit. If we can get 10 hay, we can make a punching pole. We need to find some tall grass. I 
This music really reminds me of Hard Space Shipbreaker. Oh, here we go. Let's go ahead and harvest all this. And then we can start making like a, a gym. Everybody can chill out a little bit. Oh, the dartboard could be fun? You're right. Kind of nervous about using fabrics and leather, though. I want to save those for beds. Also, um, the, uh, the bandages, too. I'm sure some wounds will be like, um, I wonder if we can combine that healing salve from the mushrooms with the bandages to make, like, an advanced bandage. Bum, 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 bum. A bandage with fungus, yep. Yeah. Damn, that is so cool that these can be disassembled for a very long time. I mean, there are lots and lots of material. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Species seems aggressive. A dead specimen may, must be procured, observed, and studied. Uh-oh. Battle stations. Can we make a spear real quick? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What are we researching right now? An attack is about to happen. Everything everything we're researching is kind of important some way or another. We're going to start on a base after that. Are they going to attack our base or are they going to just chill? Sir, this is private property. Oh, we researched tailoring. That's good. We can make some armor now. So now we're working on uh oh this species seems relatively peaceful okay looks like a bulbasaur these guys are like eating the mushrooms and stuff yeah, we got guns, but we're going to keep working until those creatures attack. I'm going to leave them alone if they don't come over. I, I do like... This looks great. The rocky uh, ground, but also kind of like the dirt soil and stuff for the trees, but then the open meadow. Looks good, man. That's a good question. Can we ranch the animals? Yeah, I don't I don't know if there's animal husbandry in this. That would be interesting. Or train them to be like our our war like our war loaded insect. These guys seem relatively peaceful too. Probably going to be a death mosquito around here somewhere. Okay, let's see if we can make some uh, stuff to chill out with. A punching pole. And a shooting target.
Maybe a dartboard. Does it have to go on a wall? Oh, that's great. We can actually put it on a shack. That's cool. All right, I'll build one just to see how it functions. Although I want the fabric for other things. Brother, yeah, brother, brother, yeah. Fries and ranch? Yeah. Maybe mayonnaise. Yeah, YouTube has been doing this thing a lot lately where, even for me, you, whether I'm on mobile or I'm on, like, my PC, YouTube is, like, dropping the quality down to, like, 144p and stuff. I don't know why. Just turn it up. All right, the enemies are attacking. Seems like they got egg road. They're coming in for an attack, boys. Ken? Simon? Hold the line, boys. Set up a perimeter, a diameter, and a circumference around the camp. And possibly a mean, median, and mode. Stand by, gentlemen. They're coming. Eww. Thank God for those bandages. Damn, you had a knife? How'd you have a knife, bro? Where'd you guys get knives? What the hell? We're having meat tonight, boys. Hell yeah, get the barbecue. Sweet baby Ray's offloaded off the ship. Let's go. All right, awaiting treatment. Ken actually is a uh, doctor, so he can take care of uh, Simon. First try. That was just like one of the animal types that can attack, so that's fun. That was just like easy day one stuff. Imagine when we have to get attacked by these guys. Ugh. Hell no. Oh boy. Yeah, hell no. Ugh. And need defensive turrets. All right, who do we have who's kind of a doctor? All right, Layla can help. Minor wounds, so she should be able to do it. Or Jayla, sorry. Oh yeah, let's study one. Good idea, chat. Thanks for the reminder. Uh, Jayla, we're going to need you on healing. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Bum, 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 bum. Now, man, imagine all the things we can make. It's gonna be like uh, Bubba Gump with all the, the scrimp. Oh, nice. And Jayla just upgraded her healing skill. Insect gumbo, insect stew. Insects over easy. Oh man, it's gonna be awesome. Happy about food variety? Good. Ken's been treated. Awesome. Awesome. Nice. Insect cordon blue, yeah. Extinguish. Oh. Oh, save remaining fuel. I see him. Well, let's just make some more meat stew. I'll 
I'll get done in the next couple of days. That'll be fine. Uh-oh. Stomach ache. We're gonna have to research antibiotics and see if that will cure the parasite. That seems to be the only thing I can see that's medicine related. Except for first aid kits. We'll do that later. Or you need more health. These guys are in a little bit of pain. Unfortunately, we don't have painkillers, so they're just going to have to sleep it off a little bit. Bug pizza? Oh, man. We'll have to see what other recipes come out of that. I don't know if the antibiotics treat parasites. I'm not sure. I just don't see anything else on the list that might do that. Oh, we can also make cloth out of hay. Oh, that's how we'll make our fabrics. Okay, well, that's easy then. And we can make synthetic armor, which seems really powerful. Ken was having some fun down at the old shooting range. Kind of cool how it has to be repaired after they shoot at it. Makes sense. About to rot away. 18... Rations. That's fine. We've cooked as many as we could. Hey, there he goes. He's playing darts. Oh, you're cheating, Quinn. You're literally a foot from the board, bro. Wow, that gave them plus 18? Damn, darts are really effective. Oh uh, yeah, we'll have some giveaways today for everybody who's a subscriber. So if you're new to the channel, or if you haven't yet subscribed for any reason, might be a good time to subscribe for free. Until Susan takes that away next. You never know. One step away. Horseshoes, yeah, that'd be... that. You could make that out of scrap. It wouldn't exactly be horseshoes, but something similar to that. Or cube. You play cube? Alright, so we just re researched tailoring. Oh, we can make the tailor bench now. Alright, we're finally researching how to build a base. So we're going to try to build a base now. down a couple of trees and we're low on wood so let's start gathering resources for that The only thing I want different is to see the ship kind of like actually changing as you're dismantling it. Burp. All right, let's change somebody to. Alright, so we need somebody also to help observe.
Quinn has pretty good intellect at three. Let's have him do that too. Hey! Red feathered bird. Wow, freaking vultures, literally. <laughs> so much for observing the bird. Simon just walked over there and like scared it off. Okay. I guess we can't observe these anymore. They're too far dead. I guess you have to observe them right away. Or we did. Oh, maybe we finished it already. Oh, we did. We did. New discovery. The bug I observed looks like an overgrown version of the pest that's known and hated on many worlds. Giving it the common bug's name felt a bit underwhelming, so I choose a nice-sounding scarabee. Unfortunately, it's a lot more annoying than some tiny insect that scuttles through your fridge. This one's big and impudent enough to attack humans and do some damage. The main problem is that these insects tend to swarm and work together in large groups, so they should not be underestimated. Okay. All right, let's quick do some butchering. Would that be under harvesting? No. Cutting? Maybe cooking? Ah, there it is. Hunting is hunting and butchering. Okay. Ken's really good at that. Ken, you're, you're doing that first, brother. And no, there's so much meat. Oh well. Regardless, it's going to go bad because like we don't have a refrigerator, so. Does this remind you of State of Decay at all? Um, not really. There's no zombies and there's no earth and there's no like cities. But I mean, if you like State of Decay, in that game, of course, you have to gather fuel and wood and stuff like that. So I guess there's a little super light elements to it, but yeah. Uh, we started with four people. The fifth person showed up through a random event. So I'm not sure how other people might show up. Maybe it's always just random chance. But yeah. You can also choose to start with one person, too. Like, you can, you can choose to begin the game with one person, I think. Or maybe it's a minimum of three, but... You can start with three or four, I think. Maybe one. Hey, man, brother, yeah. Yeah, manage a team and build a base. Gather resources, yeah. And I guess there are kind of like, you know, enemies where you can go in and clear out for a bonus of some sort. I guess going into these areas where these alien creatures are... These spike-tailed insects. The only benefit to clearing them out would be less of a chance for them to attack you. Otherwise, I'm not sure if we'll get anything for that. Well, it's still the spring. I want to kind of see what happens. I guess seasons don't really matter so much in this game because... Crops and things could be harvestable at different times of the year. We're getting ready to build a base, though. We we are researching base building, so now we got to cut down trees and things to get ready for it. Let's harvest a couple of these bad boys. So now that we know the creatures over here aren't as dangerous... Let's do a little mining. 
Let's observe this boy. These guys seem peaceful. What the hell is that? <laughs> observe this animal while it's alive. Oh, did you guys kill it? Oh, wait, it is? Wait, it's just sleeping. Oh no, this other thing killed it. What the hell is that? I guess these guys killed it. Let's observe some more creatures. Let's learn more. You just watched a video of the large insects attacking. You do not want to mess with those things. Yeah. They have a ranged attack. They shoot out of their tail. They're not very nice. Interestingly enough, this game has the ability to build walls that you can, like, stand next to and, like, fire from. But, of course, the problem with that is any ranged enemy will attack you back. But it'd be good for those little beetles because they can't really... They'd have to attack the wall where you're shooting at them. But you can also build a, um... Like a tower. And you're having a meltdown? Bro, you just like... Ken, go, go shoot a target. Didn't you just like... Um, shoot a bunch of things too earlier? What a baby. Yeah, it looks like we need to come up with some other food to make. Let's do, um... Make some more vegetables. Oh, she's, she's cooking now. Make the rest of those rations and then cook up... Just cook up vegetable stew forever. We'll go gather more veggies. Should be plenty around. I guess the fruit could also be eaten raw. Can we limit them to eating just berries? Yes. Oh, I love that. It keeps the same window open for all of them. Oh, that's great. So if you're trying to get everybody to do the same thing, you can just do it that way. Nice. Yeah, don't eat raw meat. Just eat uh, fruits. That's fine. Discovery of a clutch. The big bloated insect is slow and usually peaceful herbivore, which I named the glutch. Nice. While not particularly dangerous, it secretes a poisonous substance which accumulates on its skin and released as a toxic cloud when the creature shakes its body in fear. Engaging it from a safe distance seems like the best option. Hmm. We have four days of food. Luckily, we're cooking more. I wonder if it's faster to cook on the kitchen stove. Let's uh, cancel cooking here. You don't need to do that anymore. Cook it over there. So just cook rations, meat soup, and veggie soup whenever we got it for now. While we buy time to get more research done for the base. Discovery of the Draca. The patterns on the back of the animal with the big flat head are very similar to those of the small drac insect native to my home world. So I felt like naming it the Draca. Much more to my surprise, it seems to be a peaceful herbivore. The elevated position of its eyes allow it to keep watch for predators and danger while feeding. If cornered, it can defend itself with a very long four legs whose claw-like endings seem quite intimidating. Alright, so another kind of passive, peaceful passive creature. You guys wouldn't mind if I just borrow some meat, would you? Ken, you want to come on over? Oh, look at that hustle. So 
I guess Ken literally sprinting towards creatures doesn't scare them. Bro, that's like 7,000 tons of meat. Oh, it also makes hides too. Good. All right, perfect. That's actually good. We still need to research the... Oh, that's the humming fly. Despite its somewhat menacing look, the big flying insect seems to be peaceful and easily scared, so I decided to name it the humming fly. It is worth noting, however, that the, in rare cases when it, it gets enraged, it attacks from afar and can fly over obstacles. Ooh. Alright, so that's an enemy that can fly over your walls, so be careful about that. Are these the same? Yeah. A carnivore, but it probably just eats little things. Alright, we're making meat soup. Nice. Food's just gonna go bad until we get a fridge. It's gonna take time. Man, buttermelon sounds good, man. Are these ready to harvest? Growth 100%, harvest 54. Oh, I guess this is its growth speed. And then when that reaches 100, okay. Yeah, we're researching uh, sleep. We could put that on hold. I wonder what would happen if we cancel. Can we, like, come back to it later? Hmm. Well, let's do this. Let's cancel the other research. We'll do... We'll finish up sleep, then we'll do the base stuff. Then let's do weapons, and then antibiotics. And then we'll revisit it later. I hope this is the type of game where you can be like 99% done with research, cancel it to put it on pause for a minute, do something else, and then come back. Hey, look at that. The ship is gone. Cool. Yeah, how to nap like a pro, exactly. All right, so the ships actually will disappear. I hope I want them to actually showcase more of the ship being d demolished, though, in the future, but that's all right. Okay, we need to do more mining in the future. I kind of want to build a house out of stone. I feel like that would uh, insulate a little bit more. You volunteer to research sleeping? Uh-huh. All right, one's in the chat if you want to be a part of the sleep research team. And unfortunately, the only thing we have is pizza to feed you guys in between naps. One in the chat to be in the sleep and pizza research team. <laughs> yeah, sleep master class. Imagine that, chat. Um, the, the Raptor Ultimate tier? It's just going to be a privated video on how to sleep. Be like, I'm Raptor. Thanks for becoming a Raptor Ultimate member. Here's your sleep master class video on how to sleep properly. And then I just lay down and it's eight hours of me just... Snoozing. <laughs> Unfortunately, we haven't researched beer yet, so uh, we're working on that, though. So we'll we'll be able to do sleep re sleep beer and pizza. Oh, that's a great podcast name. That should be number one podcast in the world. Looks like trees regrow pretty nicely, too, in this game. Man, Ken is becoming a problem. Sir, you need to namaste or something. There, he's playing darts. That'll make him happy. Also, probably the whole upgraded base with beds and, like, warmth and stuff will probably make them a little happier, too. 
I know I would be. Amen, brother, brother, amen. The music's just too good. Can you right click to like close these? Oh yeah, okay, cool. Just wanted to know. I do like the whole like seeing your inventory at a glance too. Like that's really nice. Now, I also have a question too. If something goes bad, if something rots, I wonder if we could use it as fertilizer. Damn, bro. Um, maybe stand somewhere where there's not a chance of people walking around. Whatever. Okay, I already answered your... Okay. Um, okay. Actually, I kind of appreciate that. But it should ask you maybe once every four hours of gameplay or something. It's kind of hard to judge a game by just a few hours. I gotta say, though, I think this is pretty good so far. Pretty good so far. At least the start of the game is interesting. Usually you'd be bored without being able to build, design, and set up a base, but actually researching the stuff around us and finding out what it is and how to interact with it is kind of cool. Reviews aren't great on Steam. That's every game day one. I've noticed that about every game where it's like mixed day one, then it becomes positive, and then usually settles somewhere around mostly to very positive for most games that I've seen anyway. You guys know gamers, though. They're patient, understanding, don't judge things by just, like... You know, like when everybody saw the leaked footage of Grand Theft Auto 6? They were open-minded and didn't jump to any sort of conclusions about quality or final product based on judging a construction site by it being incomplete. Oh, there's only nine reviews? Yeah. Wow, though. Look at how... What the hell is this? Oh wow, what a weird rock formation. Look at how much area we can build in and explore though. There's a lot of space to go out and claim. Dude, this is really nice. Yeah, I guess you you could build multiple settlements if you wanted to. What is this? Oh, more. More crash sites. I really want to see how we can interact in the water, though. Yo, Nano, thanks for becoming a raptor egg again. Thanks for smacking join and hanging out. These are beautiful, though. I want to be able to build something on the water. The map, yeah, the map is pretty damn big. At least in comparison to the size of your people. Like, we've only... <laughs> the whole time we've been playing, we've really only, like, maybe gone this far. Oh. Insufficient storage space. Better build some more sturge. I'll just build it out of wood. I like the look of things, too. It looks nice. And now we've started summer, so we're 12 days in. I think we started mid-spring, so maybe each season is like... Maybe... 15 days or so per season? What are these seasons, though? It looks like spring, summer, and then there's two colors for autumn. Maybe there's autumn, late autumn. Maybe it's just really important for last-minute... Uh, 
preparations. And we literally built more storage space. New resource, dried meat. Oh, nice. Oh, we're drying out the hides, too. Sweet. Alright, let's make another dryer. If there's a wedding arch in the game, I guess people can get married and maybe have children. Are there any more people on the map? Uh, there is, like, a... There's a map bigger than this, where it's, like, um... You know how it works in Frostpunk when you send up the balloon and then you can, like, find other places around the city? Kind of like that. Like, you can go to other landmarks. We just have to research and build the balloon, but that's, like... Looks like a little late mid-game. Brother, yeah. Oh, we need to make way more food. We gotta put Laura on... Is she on all-day cooking? Yeah, let's put you on all day. Yeah, maybe we can explore crash sites and find new people, otherwise they seem to show up randomly. have to work on food for sure more about the cooking we have plenty of raw food oh dried meat nice we'd have to do some more hunting love how we can have multiple uh, fabric types, too, like scrap cloth, hide, skin bark, synthetic textiles, veggie leather. Kind of reminds me of uh, berry leather from uh, Grounded. There's free slots here in this wooden storage chest. There's free space here on the shelf. <coughs> Should have enough storage space. Oh, not for the wood. I see. Construction materials. Brother, amen. You can't remember what was on your last pizza? Probably, probably cheese. Marinara. Michael, welcome aboard as a raptor hatchling. Thank you for the big O support, brother, yeah. No. You're sad you missed the best game demo ever? Oh, Manor Lords? Did it finally end? Is that what you're talking about? Soupy, thanks for the three months as well. Thank you very much for the support. Can we craft weapons? Yeah, we can. Um, we need to research weapon making first. We are working on that. But first we're going to try to make a base. We're researching base building. New member, welcome. Yeah. So I guess we're working first on like better sleep so people can sleep more efficiently. New member, welcome. Thus we can be more productive. Then we're going to work on base building, then we're going to work on weapon making, then we're going to work on healing. Oh, and Quinn just upgraded his intellect, so that's good. That means more research for us. He's going to research faster. Is this the full game? Yeah, this is early access. So it is not a demo. It is uh, 
a fuller version of the game on Steam. What do we got? Oh, we got 80 grain. Let's make some uh, forage. Can I set another recipe? Make that top priority because there is a lot of grain. Big grain emote. Nano, thanks for dropping a five bomb as well. Thank you very much. All right, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Gift bomb emotes, yeah. Let's give you more wood as needed. More wood is needed. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm having Manor Lords withdrawals. I really appreciate you showing more games like it. Yeah, Manor Lords was a lot of fun. Certainly. You know, I appreciate all these games for being vastly different, though. Like, this is certainly, like, similar to RimWorld and Dawn of Man and Surviving the Aftermath. Manor Lords was kind of similar. It felt to me like Foundation and uh, a little bit of Stronghold in there. Love that. Would love to see a little bit more in Manor Lords, a little bit more aggression in the crop fertility and the disease and such. I like how it is in Farthest Frontier where, you know, there's like dysentery and the plague and even like people being attacked by animals and having to go to a doctor and things like that. So it'll be cool to see that game. It's a great game. Can't wait for it to get even, even better. Layla's idling. Girl, what are you doing? What do we got you up to? What's your skills? Uh, indifferent about cooking, but good at healing and good with physical activity. Um, interested in farming, though, so we can get around that later. Let's go into crafting. Whoa, Tim! With a big O5 bomb. Thanks, bro. That's nice. Thank you. Wow. Do you prefer ham or turkey sandwiches? <laughs> uh, yeah, I could go for a good turkey club right now, brother. Amen. Actually, wait a minute. Both then, right? Don't turkey clubs usually have bacon on them? Yeah, but then you could have turkey bacon, too. All right, Thanksgiving's coming, so I'm going to just say turkey. Because you all know, the day after Thanksgiving, for like almost an entire week, it's just turkey sandwiches, turkey stew. You just, you just become, you, your life is just turkey. Toast, avocado, and a quality turkey is the best. Yeah, that's great. It is, uh, oftentimes people underestimate simple meals, too, and how good they can be. Like, when you're really in the mood for, like, some good spaghetti or something simple. Or even just, like, uh, something with, like, uh, what are those noodles called? Um, linguine. Like, linguine with some good pasta sauce and maybe some good mushrooms or quality tomatoes. Like, three, four ingredients is amazing how well some of those things can be. It's good stuff. Oh, Rebel, you got a gifted membership from Nano? Awesome, dude. Yeah, make sure you guys say thank you. Forever Skies videos on the channel. Make sure you check the channel for more and new uh, games and demos. And Bad Rad Boys, thank you very much for the gifted membership to the chat as well. Damn, chat, thank you very much for all the gift bombs today. That's crazy. Wow. Thank you very much, chat. Oh, good, we can harvest some uh, butter, buttermelons now. Let's harvest all those up and see how much food we can make out of that. I feel like we should make another stove. We gotta make some more food here. Oh, food's going up. We're good. Must be all that grain porridge, yeah. You know what's gonna be really nice in this game is when you can build a base and actually make like a, you know, a pantry within your house and then like a kitchen within the house. And then, like, an area to store 
all the food separately, you know? Like cold, like maybe make a walk-in freezer or something like that. That'd be cool. But we gotta get this base research done so we can have a good night's sleep for everybody. Yeah, I don't think we need any more scrap. It didn't show the last gifted membership for you? Oh, that's weird. You know how YouTube is. Oh, good. We've got... Wait, interesting rock. Oh, a new material. Could this be a limestone-like material? Oh, yeah, I bet. This is going to be for, uh, for concrete, I bet, or cement. Yeah, plot twist is actually an edible rock known as uh, potato granite. Looks like there's a bunch of stone down here too. All right, the map seems to get, be getting bigger and bigger as we realize some of these creatures are not going to kill us to death. Which is nice. I, I prefer life. Thanks, Cade. Appreciate that. Food supply for a day. Well, we gotta get some more cooking done. We got plenty of food. Yeah, we have like 40 grain. I guess I'm gonna have to request somebody else make food. Alright, that's it. We're making porridge forever. I'm sorry, Ken. You can be all mad about porridge all you want. Come on, Ken. Don't be like this. Okay. <clears throat> wow, Cade with a five bomb as well. Damn, guys. Thank you very much for all the gift bombs today. Jeez. Today's the day to be in the chat for sure. Oh, every day. Every day. No escape chat. But good, enjoy all your new gift emotes and such. Pog. Tim with the 18 months is a raptor egg as well. Yeah, every day is a good day to be in chat. Every day is a good day for new games too, huh? Guys, I'm telling you, the whole rest of this year, it's like pretty much every three days on this channel, we're going to check out some new games, too. We got Scorn coming up. We got Warhammer 40k Darktide coming up. We got that new Ghostbusters game coming up where it's like Dead by Daylight, but Ghostbusters, so it's a lot of fun. Um, there's going to be some more new games tomorrow, too. It's going to be a fantastic rest of the month on the channel and rest of the year, too. Raptor, how is this game as a colony sim? Yeah, this is, um, yeah, it's like if you've ever played RimWorld before, just think of like a 3D RimWorld, but it reminds me a lot about surviving the aftermath with kind of how some things look, like in the inventory and stuff. But there's farming, crafting, base building, defenses. We can be attacked. We have guns. We can build turrets. We can build flamethrowers. Essentially, it's like a, you know, our, we were on some sort of a ship known as Alien Dawn and it experienced some sort of malfunction. We had to bail. Our uh, shuttle crashed here in this, you know, where this debris field is, and now we're starting to explore. Th we we know nothing of this planet, so all these people are like kind of trying to observe all these creatures to find out like are these hostile? Can we can we hunt these guys? You know, like what can we do to survive? And the goal is basically to escape by. I'm thinking we're gonna have to like explore the planet with a giant balloon, and report back here on what we find, but it's a gorgeous game. Like, look at the sky. It's pretty. There could be cloud coverage and stuff, too. Seasons, different types of weather, day-night cycle. So if you're a RimWorld fan, or if you like, um, you know, base-building games, this is definitely one for you. Or at least to check out. Ken is idling. Ken. I cannot believe you. 
Alright, let's go study something. Wait, what did that say? High chance to what? Oh, retaliate. Let's go gather more grain. Yeah, maybe the planet has lava rain? Oh boy, I hope not. We need to get somebody else on cooking. Who else is good at cooking? Ken is a zero. It's going to come down to Simon, but he's our, uh, our researcher, too. But we got to do a little bit more cooking. Eh, Quinn's taking care of the research. Tommy, welcome aboard as a little rapper. Chat, when you guys click the join button, do you guys still see the discount from YouTube? There's like, It's like 50% off or 20% off for memberships. I'm just curious because YouTube's really bad about telling anybody if they do any sort of discounts or anything. So if you'd like to become a member for the first time, there is a discount on it. We have some pretty sweet emotes. Most of the emotes that we have are completely custom for the channel. We have some Halloween-themed emotes, and we also have um, emotes that are from Twitch remember, that are memes welcome. from there that you might remember. Like the Bob Ross emote. Being a raptor egg is 49 cents. Really? Becoming an egg is like literally a pack of gum? Wow, that's awesome. That's crazy. Yeah, if you've never been a member before, then you'll probably see that. Alright, well. If you'd like to. Go right ahead, enjoy. Yeah, we need more uh we need more cooking. Ew, is that rotting food? No, that's just I think that's just vegetables, okay. Or something. New resource, leather. Wow, it took that long for that to dry out? Alright, we gotta make some more stuff here. Let's make some healing balm. And let's make some... Animal fats. We have to extract that. Yeah, membership's great. It, it helps out the channel immensely. It's very nice. My cooking looks like rotted food. Thank you, Chad. I appreciate that. Well, I, I didn't do the cooking. It was uh, Laura. She's being a pain. Avid farmer and hardworking. All right. Wait, she's got a sleep parasite too? Oh, everybody's got a sleep parasite. Everybody got a sleep parasite. Oh, discovery of ore deposit. Hey! Oh, okay, it's an ore. Could be mined and smelted into alloys. Okay, well, that's cool. Alright, well, everybody's got a sleep parasite, so the fact that we're researching the sleep thing is probably good. We're 70% done with that. I don't know if that'll cure the parasite. Maybe it's a, like a common thing on this planet. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how they got the sleep parasite. It could be from just the berries or something. I don't know. Wow, Simon reached Intellect 6. My goodness. Which percentage of this game has bears? Bruh. Dude, th this game, since it's early access, we're basically building in, like, a pretty mountain valley. But I'm imagining eventually they'll add, like, tropical locations, deserts, maybe more thick forests, and, of course, there could be freaky bears. Bruh. We could see bears in this game. Horrible. Horrible. Thank goodness chat, though, knows that this is a bear-free environment. Or 
right, chat? Pacific Blue, thanks for the two. Big O, support brother, yeah. Chat is awesome today. Thank you guys for all the support. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. That's true. All right, we got a Taylor bench. We really need to do another cooking stove. I, I just don't think they're making enough food. I wonder if this cooks faster or if it's just advanced recipes. <clears throat> Let's see. Integrity 100. So the campfire is required to increase the temperature near the sleeping areas. Hmm. Jim, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Plus member again. Welcome back, dude. Thank you very much. I think we'll start farming after Never building a house. Welcome. All right, I'm building another stove while we get research done. I think we should build another research uh, building, too. Uh, let's deconstruct this. I'm building another research station. We got two big brains, and we're not we're not using the biggest of brains. Oh yeah, I'm on relax time too. All right, break's over. Dude, this is like the Sims level of cooking. Mashuno! I guess there is a little bit of element to the Sims of this game too, huh? You can level up your Sim to have cooking skills and farming skills too, so... There's a little bit of that in here too. Hell yeah, Laura's a level 4 cook now. Constructing with a hatchet? Unplayable. Just make everything, please. Actually, wait, we should start with the uh, grain recipe. Because we're gonna have a lot of grain. Okay, let's build another research bench. And who's our biggest brains? Quinn is a level 4 big brain. Simon is a level 6. So Quinn and Simon. I guess we could try to get people who are lower level at stuff to at least try. Yeah, even though they hate it, they still gotta, like, do something. Wow. Bad Rad Boys upgrading to a Raptor Ultimate. Thank you very much for the big O upgrade. Almost to, uh... The blue eye as well. Almost two years of support. Getting there. Alright, lots more food coming in. Beautiful. Lots more research getting done. Gorgeous, gorgeous.
Ten leveled up of cooking, nice. Brother, yeah. I wonder if we can get more emergency rations somehow. Probably out of other uh, crash shuttles. Jayla mentioned that she landed in a shuttle too, but she had eaten all the food and was wandering around. <laughs> nice campfire. Where do we make marshmallows? In our imagination, Smiley. Yo, Aaron, thanks for the... Wow, 34 months as a hatchling. Hey, Raptor, love your content. Day in and day out. Wow. No day off, though. Good. New member, welcome. All right, let's... Uh... Is this that smoke leaf? Where was that? Around here somewhere. Anyway, we got way more cooked food than we do uh, raw food, so that's also kind of good. Get a little bit more raw. Pacific Blue, thanks for the two months as a raptor egg. Yeah. I'm going to keep harvesting everything. Oh, is she vomiting? What the hell? Whoa. Uh oh. She must be really mad at uh, Laura about that food now. Wait, she's vomiting, but there's no. Right back to it. All right. All right then. There's n there's no information about her vomiting at all. Ate a quick meal. Ate on table. Enough food variety. Well fed. Survivor's determination. She just stood up and just like vomited it out next to where she's eating. By the way. And there's like no there's no information whatsoever on that vomiting that she just suddenly did. Okay. Whatever. Maybe the food was so good that, yeah, she was making room for more. Wow, this is great. Hold on a second. Wait. Here it says her name is Layla. Wait, what the... Wait, wasn't her name Jayla? Wait, what the hell? Wait, did her name change? Wait. What in the Berenstein Bears is going on? Stein. Steen? Stone? Oh wait, I shouldn't even mention bears. Wait, did her name... Her name... Okay. Well, that's uh, early access for you. Anyway, we're 98% done with researching a... Is that base or sleep? I think it's sleep. Then we can finally start on base building. Thank God. Although, now that we have two people doing the research, it'll slow down the... Uh, or speed up the research, so that's good. Smiley face, brother, yeah. And we got tons of supplies, so we can finally... Build more stuff. 
smiley face. Yeah, I like the vomiting and then straight right back to eating and then no report on... Her name changed and then... Like, is she a shapeshifter or something? Like, she vomited and then it changed her name. Like, what's going on? Brother... All right, we'll have to keep an eye on Layla and see if her name changes again. Anyway, all right, so the goal now is to finish up all the research and start building an actual base. That's what we're going to try to do today is build a house. And if we build a house, we seem to get attacked from here, so... And I... I think this area back here where we built now would be great for farming. So we could build a house, a farm, and there's tons of natural food here. Tons and tons of berries, which we're really lucky for. She has a split personality. Is that a thing? Well, she's got a gloomy personality. Whatever. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, it's like reading chat. Every time the same, so boring, whatever. Someone made noise and woke me up. Oh, yeah. That sounds like chat and the Discord. Stop posting gifts so loudly. I'm trying to sleep. Boom, 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 boom. We're also going to have to craft some more weapons, too, so we can defend ourselves. I guess we are researching weapons after that. Oh, yes! Look at that! Sleep training is complete. Beautiful. And look at that! Wow, the house is already... We're already a quarter of the way done. Now, did that cure the weird sleep parasite that we had? No. I don't know how to cure that, though. Maybe antibiotics. So I think for the house, we have to... First, we have to build a foundation. We'll have to build something like this. What the hell? Now it's Jayla again. What the... F anyway, we're going to have to build a foundation and then put a house on it. And then maybe we can build, like, a little... Um, shed or something onto the house for storage. Glad that our people are researching stuff so quickly. Uh, let's do a little more research. So it's construction basics, then weapons, then antibiotics. I want to see if we can do antibiotics first. Then do weapons. Then let's start researching... Let's research hay cloth, so then we can make armor onto that, maybe? Oh, we could research pickling. Identity theft is not a joke, Jayla. If that is your real name. Or that's her name today, I guess. Let's get some stuff out of the way for the base. Let's see if we can salvage this too, just to clear the area. But the nice thing is, is at least with this like steep cliffside here, we won't have to... Um, I don't think they can attack from here. They'll have to come down where like all the grass is. Where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. We'll have to build our base, our home, right here. All right, construction basics. Ah, oh, look at this. Now we can build a base, boys. There we go. We got, like, foundations, flooring. We got double doorways, doorways, stairs. We can make multiple stories. That's nice. 
That's nice. Did that unlock any more research? Let's see. Oh yeah, so we can build things out of brick or concrete. Wooden fortifications. Would that be like walls? Actually, maybe that would be a little more important. Let's do towers first because we do have some ranged weapons. We have those laser pistols. The wooden fortifications might be walls too. Oh yeah, there it is. Tower and wooden gate. Unless we can build that already. Nope. Anyway, let's get fortifications up. Build a base. Then we'll go with ranged weapons. Then maybe we can start getting power online. Alright, let's do that. Then we can rework those uh, circuit boards that we found on the crash sites. Now, let's see. Provides flat surface for construction, differently leveled. Floors can be connected with stairs. Applied over floors for styling and customization. Walls, roofs, and rooms. Okay. A so oh, look at that. We can make foundations out of different materials. A soil floor made out of hay. Scrap, wood, stone, and metal. Which seem to have different levels of integrity. Awful thermal insulation, very weak support. Medium thermal insulation, strong support. So it looks like stone and wood are the exact same. What about for walls? Okay, so stone and wood give the exact same thermal. Sticks and scrap are horrible. You probably want to build that just for, like, storage. If you wanted to build, like, a little building for storage of firewood or stone or something. Okay. Well, what do we have for materials? We have 240 stone, 380 wood. Let's build our house out of stone, and let's build our defenses out of wood. I'll go grab more stone. Alright, the house building begins. Let's do it. Let's start with a stone foundation. Which of these base building games do I like the most? Oh, they're all different. Like, Manor Lords and this game are kind of the same, but yet completely different. It's like, manage a group of people, do farming and defend yourself, manufacture weapons and you know, make bread and um, build walls and things like that. That a applies to both of these games, but the yet they're also very different at the same time. I like how games are all familiar and yet very different, you know? I like it. Oh, nice. This tells us how much it's going to uh, cost in materials as well. We could do a 10 by 10. Then we could add a little thing onto that. We told our person to go out and cut uh, to mine more stone. Let's build like a little warehouse onto this. Oh, damn. Are they going to need stairs to get down to that lower level? How does that work? Oh, I guess we have to build the, um, the room first. Yeah. Oh, 
Also, you'd think the integrity of stone would be better than the integrity of wood, but I guess not. Anyway, let's just go ahead and build the foundation first. And Laura will go out and grab the remaining materials needed. Alright, base building begins, boys. Like a for real base, you know? And then what we'll probably do is we'll salvage and move a lot of things from outside inside. And then we'll take a few of these things and move them to the back of the house. <clears throat> like, for example, our smelter and our furnace and drying racks we can keep out back. This game looks like Planet Zoo. What you just said. Maybe. Yeah, there's a little bit of space haven in this too with the crew management, and that mimics uh, what's present in RimWorld. So purple means that materials are delivered but not yet constructed. Blue means that materials are not const uh, delivered. You guys keep an eye on Jayla. I don't trust. Oh my god, she's vom she's vomiting again and becomes Layla. What the hell is going, bro? Is she a shapeshifter? Every time she vomits, she changes her name. Bro, hold on. She's got to be an alien or something, right? Dude, that's sus as hell. This is the girl who came in and like, oh yeah, I'm uh, yeah, from another uh, spaceship that crashed. Yeah. I'm one of you. This is totally like, um, the thing. Bro, this is like the thing. Dude, every time she vomits randomly, there's no report on it, and then she changes her name. What the hell? Does she have a split personality? I don't think so. Is that a thing? I don't see that in like her description. You're right. Oh my god. Dude. When she vomits, <laughs> she, she's becoming a different person. Oh my god, dude. The hell? Split personality. Occasionally switches traits with an alter ego. Jayla and Layla. Oh my god, dude. Wow. It was a thing. Gloomy personality. Has permanently decreased happiness and also bad with music. But loves fruitcake. Can't argue with that. Wait. She's an instrumentalist, but she's tone deaf. Wait, what? Being an instrumentalist, Jayla is always willing, uh, tra always traveling to perform, but when things aren't going well for her, alter ego Layla is never far away. As cheerful and musically minded Jayla is as gloomily into. Oh! Wait, the hell? So wait, her... <laughs> her split personality is one minute she's good at music and then the next she's bad. <laughs> that's, that's it. Her split personality is when she's not in the mood, she becomes mad and doesn't like to play music. Oh yeah, that's the split per... You know, you know like one minute when you guys are hungry... And then you totally become a different person when you've eaten and then you're no longer hungry and don't really want to eat anything. Yeah. Split personality. That's hilarious, dude. So when she's mad, she basically becomes Layla who doesn't want to do music. Otherwise, she if we get her a musical instrument, she'll cheer everybody up. Which could be powerful. I mean, that is a research thing. That's hilarious. Wow. Good job to the devs on that. That took me and thousands of other people like an hour and a half to figure out. That's that that's Chad emote for sure. That is a Chad emote right there. Wow.
Well, it's going to take a lot of materials to build our house. Oh, we can also choose to build the roof out of a different material. That's cool. You could have a stone house with a wooden roof if you want. That's cute. So, Layla slash Jayla is a tortured artist. I like how the personality... Tra <laughs> I like how the first time we noticed that she was just sitting down for a meal and then... Becoming her alter ego means that she has to immediately vomit and then just go by a different name and be mad. I don't want to do music. It's like, well, we don't even have a guitar. Go sit down. In fact, no. Go gather something. You're idle. Oh, wow. Look at that. So 50 grain equals 5 um, antibiotics. Okay. I, that's expensive as hell. We're going to need to grow grain for medicine. I wonder if we could make a wall out of scrap metal. That seems like a good idea to use some of that stuff. We got thousands of it. But we could also refine it into metal alloy. Sounds like a Dr. Phil episode. Yeah. Meet 21-year-old Layla Lowen. Survivor of a crash in an alien planet. But that's not her real name. That's only her name when she's a little mad. Send her to the ranch. Yeah, Alloy, you're already refined. We don't have to smelt you. It's more convenient. Okay, yeah, we're going to keep mining... Um, stone for a little while. Glad we found a deposit down there. Dude, we're actually base building now. This is satisfying as hell. And we got the boys doing research and they're doing really well. Yeah, it's going to be Layla's room. When she, when she freaks out, we're going to put her in the pantry. Which, interestingly enough, doesn't store pants. For years, I put my clothing in the pantry and was like, well, what the hell? Why are you guys yelling at me? Wow. Laura's not happy with being soaked. Yeah, a new game. This one came out today. I think I'm going to use this for storage and research. And maybe cooking. And then this will probably be for additional storage and beds and heating and things like that. And then we're probably going to make another room outside. Probably a good idea to go a little bigger than we originally planned. We have lots of room for expansion. Also, it looks like we can make multiple floors in this game, so I'm wondering if... You know what would be really cool in this game? Is if we built a house, and then maybe we built like a second story tower, and then our people could shoot from the tower on the house. So that way if they got past the wall, everyone could fall back to the house and shoot from the windows and the... And whatnot. Which side is the front door going? Probably here. Actually, we'll probably... Maybe we'll have a front door and a back door. We're going to do farming back here. We're going to, de going to delete and move all this stuff around. I got plans. Dude, this is a big moment. Everybody should be excited. Poglad emote walls. Oh, look at that. It actually, you actually do have to step down into the room. Elevation's like a thing. That's so cool, dude. I wonder if noise pollution is a thing. Like, if I, um... 
if we turn this room into like a production room, like if people are hammering away at the um, workbench, if it'll disturb people when they're sleeping, that'd be interesting. Yeah, now we can move things. I wonder if we could build a roof over a floor without walls. Provides roof space. Resources decay slower when stored under a roof. Oh, you can do that. Nice. Oh, yeah. So we could just build a little roof here and have, like, the smelter outside and stuff. Wow, that's cool. So you can build a building with no walls as well. And then put your smelters and drying racks there. So that way it'll be uh, protected from the rain but still exposed to the air. That's pretty cool. You're convinced that one of her personalities is pregnant? You guys are really hoping. On this season of Stranded Alien Dawn, 21-year-old... Oh, Jayla again. <laughs> I guess we can't build a floor on the ground. Oh, we researched wooden fortifications. Oh, yeah, look at that. Now we can build a wooden wall. Sweet. I feel like we should just build the towers. I don't think the enemy's going to be able to climb. But anyway, let's finish the house first. Which one has better stats? I think the only difference is that when... Uh, when Jayla is mad, she becomes Layla and then doesn't want to play music. Which is like, you do you, girl, whatever. Whatever. If you're not feeling artistic today, that's fine. Ooh, we can make a... L oh. We can also make a refined metal floor. Which is horrible thermal insulation, but very strong support. Which has better integrity. So that might be a good spot to build, like, um... I'm sure in the future we can make m maybe metal towers. So you could probably make a concrete... You could probably make, like, a concrete wall or a cement wall. And then, um... Maybe line it with metal towers or something? With a metal floor? We'll find out. Um, I don't know. We'll we'll build a little workshop separately from the house. No, oh, everybody's napping. Amen. Brother, you. Somebody must have had a good meal. Hear him singing? Mm -hmm. If we build our house big enough, we could have like a recreation room. It could, it could literally be <laughs> like The Sims. We could have a living room, bedroom, bathroom. What do I think so far? Well, you know, I was kind of getting bored of the whole small camp thing, but like we've researched a base now, so... And now we can ferment stuff to make antibiotics. Uh, the research part's really cool. I wonder if we can make a room within a room. Like if we... Oh, we would just build walls, I think, actually. If you suddenly wanted to wall off a section... Oh yeah, you could do that. Okay. Yeah, if we wanted to, we could make like a little room here for research. Yeah, pink means that materials have been delivered. Blue means it still needs to be delivered before construction can start. So we're waiting for more stone to be mined. And we're making more food, and everybody's having a mandatory good time.
going to take a while, but we're going to try to get a... Uh, we're going to try to survive the winter. Which is coming soon. Soon. Does Jayla have different skills than Layla? Yeah, like one has less... Like, she's an artist when she gets mad, she doesn't want to play the guitar. So the her angry variant is like, I'm not going to play guitar or sing or whatever. She just, you know, cops an attitude and throws her hands up, I guess. And then we're going to start farming, too, when we clear all this out. So that'll be cool. We should make more metal. Um, let's do until we have like... 250 metal. Plenty of scrap. Why not have everyone getting the stones to build? Ah, because there's a lot of things that need to be done. Like we're still doing research for some people. Some people are on break or eating. Some people are salvaging. Lots of jobs. Just only five people to do the work. Alright, yeah, we gotta do electric grids. We're researching that next. Oh, we did it. Excellent. Well, let's research solar panels. We'll get some power up in the base, finally. And then energy storage. And refrigeration. Hmm. Then we can take advantage of all that metal. All right, we're gonna start getting electricity working. Nice. Things are really popping off now. It begins. The floor is starting construction. Dude, we can make like a porch to the house too. The purple thing destroys the immersion? Well, I mean, it, it's just showing you that materials have or have not been delivered. This is what the house will look like when it's done. It'll look nice. Okay, we're still bringing more stone. Bum, bum. Yeah, we're gonna we're researching refrigeration, so that'll help with the spoilage. It'll be in the list. Wow, they have a specific tutorial just for electricity because they know it's complicated. Luckily, I played the tutorial. What? Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. You can actually take a tutorial in the middle of your game. That's cool. Well, we'll do that later. I'd like to go back to my game, please. That's cool, though. Like, it'll auto-save your game and bring you back from, you, bring you right into a tutorial. That's neat. That's cool. I like that you can actually take a tutorial right there. Okay, weapon smithing is done. We have more iron. Electric grids. Layla is becoming more physical because of all that mining. And we just need more stone. More stone is needed. Does the people count increase in the future? I think so. I think there'll be more random events to bring more people into the camp. Especially once we get the house up.
Yeah, the uh, schedule is down below for what we plan on playing for the future. But as always, just subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell, and then YouTube will show you whenever we're playing more of this or something else, too. More stone is needed. Is anybody else good at mining? I would like to speed it up a bit. I guess Ken's good at it. He's also scavenging, so that makes sense. Kind of nice if you could highlight an area and tell them to only harvest local ma local food if it were like ready for harvest. Yeah, smoke leaf, we need that. Vegetables, we need that. And then everybody will just be on cooking f uh, food, or at least whenever they're free. All right, let's check research. Energy storage is at 60. Refrigerator, wind turbines, too. Oh, nice. We can build a solar panel now. Nowhere to use it yet, though, so. Are the buttermelons locally sourced? I hope so. I love this music, it's nice. What are they, fair trade? Alright, chat, fine. We're opening a Whole Foods, okay? This is no longer a house. This is a Whole Foods. And this is the ultra-vegan section. It's just air. It's just oxygen. Mega ultra-vegan. It's gonna be... Locally sourced, no GMOs. Actually, it's just going to be a vacuum. There's nothing in there. This is a, a void of space. It's it's negative space. You know how in Star Trek they talk about negative uh, subspace. This is negative space. This is divide space. Divided by zero space. Okay, calorie free, gluten free. Uh, f you know, free free trade. It's free free trade. Yeah, it's matter free. Devoid of flavor, calories, anything of value. <clears throat> That'll be five dollars per uh, one. Can't tell you how much one costs, but it's expensive. But you need it because it's good for you. It's not good for you. It's just not as bad for you as other things. Let's put it that way. It cleans out the toxins. So you need it. Can't tell you what the toxins are, how they accumulate, where they accumulate, or what they consist of, but toxins. Cleans out the toxins. Can't tell you any more information about it, but you need it. And it's expensive. And if you don't get it, not only are you unhealthy, but you're a bad person. But I'm not going to tell you that directly, but you know it's true. And did I say it was $10? Because I meant 15 
Is air free range? No, that's property of Nestle. You're only leasing it. And by leasing, I mean... Uh, we're almost there. Sorry, but I only breathe organic oxygen. <laughs> so when you go in for a medical procedure, and they put you, like, on the oxygen mask, the hose just goes outside, like, out the window. <laughs> it just goes out, just goes outside. Like, um, is this oxygen locally sourced? Um, I'm just an anesthesiologist. I don't know anything. Oh, I'm out. No, thank you. Wow, lightning struck. Damn. Oh no, it damaged our pole and our chair. No. The house will be done soon, but I want it to look nice. I'm stubborn that way. New oxygen. Yeah. <laughs> Sugar-free new oxygen. Introducing new crystal, <laughs> crystal clear oxygen from the makers of <laughs> other gases. You miss oxygen classic? Yeah, it just hit different, didn't it? The new recipes got me like, ugh. Wow, look at all this raw food we have. Ooh, all the buttermelon. Nice. Oh, nice. Laura's doing some good vittles. Yeah, they want us to build lightning rods. But in order to store that, we need um, batteries. Batteries plus. New, naturally, yeah, naturally flavored. No preservatives, Smiley. Pepsi Oxygen, yep. Mint flavored, yeah. What's up, little sweetheart Shadow Breeze? Hello. Yeah, we can convert lightning into energy, but we gotta we gotta build a battery first to store it. Alright. Winter is coming. We're going to have to prepare. Do they have coffee? Bro, we can actually research coffee in the game. There's quite a bit of research in this game. I'm surprised. And it seems like the more we research, the more stuff that's unlocking. So apparently we can make coffee cereals? Looks like there's more things to research, but we just haven't uh, gotten around to it just yet. No, oh, not only can we refrigerate, but we can also use freezers. Interesting. Oh, we can also research long distance. What do we need for that? Liquid fuel. Find or produce. That must be... Boy, how would we find or produce liquid fuel? We're going to have to find some sort of a new... Material. Let's work on musical instruments, though. We're going to have to find a new type of plant. Something we haven't found before. We might need a... Uh... Oh, maybe this stuff? Oh, wait a minute. Tube plant. Let's observe that. We haven't, we haven't researched what the tube plant is yet. Have somebody go over there. Yeah, maybe an animal. Maybe an animal has it. Oh, nice. All the materials are delivered. We can start constructing the house. Or at least the floor. It was totally worth it to wait. Am I serious? Dude, I'm dead. Dead serious, dude. The only, uh... Yeah, the only plant we haven't looked at yet around here that I've seen is the, uh... 
is that tube plant. And I guess the silica leaf will give us some um, stuff for electronics. We'll see. Oh good, we moved all the stuff out of the way. But this music just doesn't scream, brother. Amen. Wait, three days to research making cloth? Jeez. Whoa, what the hell? Oh. Get him, Tex. He's not even hit the bullseye. Bro, you were hitting like low... Not even on target, bruh. Not even on target. Lots more stuff to mine over here. Yeah, we have laser guns. How bad are the winters in this game? Um, I'm. We're about to find out. We do need to build heaters and insulate. We also need to worry about lighting when the housing is complete. And uh, I think we'll also be able to give our people better clothing too. Uh, there is a there is insulation as well, but it's it seems pretty simple. It's like if you build anything but sticks and scrap metal, it'll be insulated. So wood or stone walls are better. Is the wall at the north ready? Uh, I'll get back to you on that one. Why is there something I should know? Yeah. Uh, what if we have to get our fuel from these nests? Oh no. Okay, we just need to build the wall and then we're good. Well, I think the end goal of this game is to, like, maybe discover where another ship has crashed and then, like, use its, um... I don't think anybody's coming to rescue us, so either we have to find a beacon to send out a signal to get ourselves rescued, or... Laura. Watch it. Stand back, chat. She's, she's tripping out. She found out she missed out on one of the giveaways by not joining the Discord with the link down below. She joined a stream late by not subscribing and turning on the notification bell. She missed out on yet another giveaway. She forgot to hit like and she regrets it. No! Laura, why would you do this? Don't worry, Laura. There's no time like the present to click or tap join and become a member. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Come on, guys. Don't be this way. Don't you guys want to become members? Come on. There you go. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Everybody's freaking out. They should be happy. We're building the house. Come on. Cheer up, team. We're going to get bed soon. What is the tube plant? I need to know. I hope that makes fuel. It looks like it's... There's like some weird substance below it. So maybe this grows in areas where like... Sulfur or oil or something is. Yeah, we have rec recreation time. They're just like... Other things make them mad, no matter how you do on recreation. Like sometimes your food, food variety gets a little low, and no matter what, they're a little mad about that. Uh oh, Jayla's on a food binge. She's stress eating. How does this game compare to Going Medieval? It's similar in many ways. It's really like... Um, it's very similar to uh, RimWorld. And of course Going Medieval too. It's nice.
Chat, you were really hoping that Layla slash Jayla is like expecting a child. You could be right, I don't even know. Wait, during a meltdown, the survivor may- wait, said something about them hiding in a room? They might go and hide in a room? Wow. Quinn, why are you going to observe that plant? By the time you get there, bro, it's going to be bedtime. I don't see any closer tube plants anywhere. Except for over there, but I, I sure as hell ain't going there. The panic room? Alright, well, when we make a pub, that's what we'll call it. Oh uh, yeah, the schedule is down below in the description. True! Uh oh. Layla's about. She's about to become Jayla again. Here it comes. Up. Oh. oh, wait, that's Laura. I can't even keep anybody straight anymore. I don't. I forgot who's who. Ooh, they. Oh, nice. They lock, They got all the stone out of there. Perfect, man. Ooh, shiny rock. Oh, is that different than... <gasps> There's two different types here. There's a new ore type there. Nice. We need a lot more stone to be mined up. I feel like when the time comes, though, we're going to make a wooden wall out in front of the house. Is it a good good survival game? So far, yeah. We're going to um, probably see what it's like to survive our first winter here shortly. Soon, chat. Soon. Oh, yeah. Cut down a few more trees. Oh, we're going to move the uh, dining room table inside, too. It's going to be nice. Oh, everybody's on a risk of meltdown all the time. Looks like they're just mostly mad about sleep, which is why we're building the house. Yeah, that shiny rock's got to be something different. There must be different types of ores. Maybe one is uh, a type of coal, maybe? Am I going to build an Airbnb shelter when I move to the house? Yeah. Well, you can actually put AC units in the house, dude. You can put heating in the houses, AC. They're one step away from just having plumbing. You don't like the W word, the W word being winter? Oh yeah, it is coming. You can't stop it. It'd be nice as if there was a way for our people to carry more stuff. Like, how come we couldn't make a cart? Oh, this is new. A bright leafed plant. That's gotta be cotton. That's for getting more fabric.
pretty. Oh yeah, wine. Yeah, I don't know how we're... I guess from the berries, that's how we'll be making wine. Nice. Ken's becoming stronger. Good physical activity. Good. More stone. Good, good. Did we find out what this is yet? Not yet. I hope that has some sort of fuel. Maybe we can use it for... there. We can get an oil lamp. We can get oil lamps in the game, so it's got to be like... Um, some sort of a oil, maybe. For lighting and heat. Um... Yeah, like a lava lamp, maybe. Now we need to know what that shiny rock is and that two plant. The big brains are out. Bro, those look like stuffed peppers. Is that a new food type? A new discovery. The strange plant may be a rare thing native to this world. I named it Heptagonia because of its distinctive shape. It produces a sweet syrup. Oh my god, we're in Canada. Which can be harvested and used for cooking. I wouldn't say no to drinking it raw either. It seems to be safe. Wow. It's literally the, the Canadian syrup deposits. The Canadian homeworld. We're on Bud Prime right now. Amazing. Sweet syrup. Grows very slowly, but thrives in poor soil and yields harvest at a regular interval. Well, let's harvest that. Maybe that'll increase the uh, quality of cooking. Not sure what they can do with that. Is used as a topping on things? Yeah, cannoli, basically. Hello from the Netherlands. What's up, Chris? Hello. Right now we're looking at the shiny rock. See how shiny it is. Shiny. Giants. Right, the house must be nearing ready for construction. <coughs> you like winter because no bugs? Yeah, mostly. A new insect nest. Oh no, the insects will like spread? Oh, luckily it's nowhere near us. All right, so those those insects will spread. Interesting. Great. Need to be careful about that. All right, looks like we can start construction. Can we make that a priority? 124 floors. Yeah, that archway looked cool. I liked it as well. Ah, oh, there's our refrigerator now. Okay. Well, let's build the house finally. Oh, new discovery. Oh, it's silicon as well. So we can get silicon from plants or from rocks. Okay. So the shiny rock was simply silicon. Darn. Yeah, maybe we can literally find oil in the ground. 
I know you can make diesel in this game, so... There's got to be a way to actually make oils into fuels. Alright, who's good at construction? Win. These two are zero. Let's try to get their numbers up. I'm a threat to the hive, yeah. Not much has changed from the old days. Love the showdown music. Are we playing Hunt Showdown? Okay, house is going to be constructed, and then winter should be around the corner. Getting into fall. I wonder if it tells us about the seasons at all? No. Oh, it's nice we get different window options. Tall window, window, small window. I do like how we can make towers. It would be kind of cool if we could build the tower into the uh, wall. You can attempt to knock out the survivor and interrupt the meltdown with a direct order. Oh, he's just freaking out a little bit. Once we build the house and get some beds, they'll be in much better shape. We should put everybody on construction, though. Let's get this thing done. Even if you can't build, let's go. Everyone's, everyone's going to work on the house. Let's go. Let's get this thing built. Yep, the construction's actually beginning now. We got everybody assigned to it. Everybody's a little mad. They've been outside for a couple months. They're not doing so good out in the uh, old camps anymore, so now it's time to build a house.
It begins. Finally. Putting in the flooring and then we'll have our walls. Ken, where are you going? Everybody must build. Even if they don't have the skill. They should be able to learn, shouldn't they? Oh, look at that. Nice. windows in later on. Once we get the hardware installed, we'll probably install windows. See how much space we have on the uh, SSD. All these meltdowns. This is Norm Abrams from this old house, yeah. Well, it's gonna be a new house here soon. Trying to get everybody on, like, building. Trying to encourage the team to build and they're procrastinating in the kitchen. Like, oh yeah, no, these, uh, yeah. Gotta just make sure this water is, uh, boiling. Uh oh. Ooh, new debris can fall. Interesting. Alright, so that's a way for metal to be replenished. Once you've mined all of it from the deposits or from scrap, it looks like it'll keep falling from space. That's cool. Makes sense. Yeah, there's nothing to do with water in the game yet. I would like to see... Something to do with where you have to gather rainwater and store it, but I haven't seen anything in terms of drinking or watering. Why was everybody cooking? I don't know. Did I? I, I assigned them all to construct. So naturally, they're over here cooking. It's only Quinn. He's like building the house all alone. Ah, well, it'll get done eventually. We'll get the house up, and then we're going to throw some beds in there, so hopefully we have enough material for that. And then we'll deconstruct some of these things and m maybe try to build like a little storage shack somewhere. Maybe, maybe back here we'll build a little shed. Or at least uh, raw materials, like uh, stone and... Firewood. Logs, that kind of thing. Can you terraform, like, fill in the crash area to flatten them? You know, I think what you could do is maybe build a foundation over it. Uh-oh. Hold on a second, boys. We're getting attacked. Hold on. It's been a while. And they've increased in numbers. Oh my god. Oh, they're attacking trees and stuff. What a bunch of turds. Alright, stand by, boys. Can we make some weapons? Actually, we did research weapon making. Let's see if we can make some weapons. Craft weapons. Oh, there we go. A spear. Okay, we got three people without... 
laser gun, so let's make it until we have three. Got to put some on, someone on crafting right away. I think Quinn is doing that. No, he's building. Who's good at crafting? The Quinn is good at crafting. Of course he is. He's also building the house. Now is not a time for meltdowns, Laura. Come on. All right, we're we're gonna be attacked. That's great. Research is almost done. Musical instruments. Well, let's do first aid kits. Cloth, oil extractors. Yeah, that's good enough. Alright, those animals are going to find our base and attack anytime soon. Chat, get your guns. And I better not see bears in the chat, damn it. Alright, everybody will be happy once we get the house up. A little bit of warmth and a nice cozy bed. Everyone will have a nice bed. Oh boy. The attack begins. Here they come. And what the hell are you doing 10 miles from camp, bro? Get him, Simon. Starship Troopers, bro. Where's the others? Oh, they're over there. Damn, Simon is... Dude... As a pro, all that practice paid off. Oh, whoa. okay. Lure him over to Ken. Oh, there's one more. Oh, God. Not Jayla. Run, girl. Get him, boys. Nice job. All right, buddy, back to work. Whew. Steaks on the menu, boys. Oh, you're making a pizza? Lucky. And stop mining. Ken, you're not even supposed to mine. There you go. There, yeah, go butcher something. Ah, man, that was cool. Now let's get the house built. Oh, the little shack is done. Nice.
Let's move the research tables inside. Actually, wait a minute. Let's put, um... Oh, we're gonna have to build new ones and then deconstruct. That's fine. Well, let's make this our nice little storage room. Uh, storage. There we go. And now we're making weapons for next time. Good. Move the storage table inside. Excess, thank you very much for the 10, dude. Appreciate the support. I think those attacks are going to become more frequent soon. Once the house is finished, we'll start making beds, too. Gotta make a door out back. We can also make a metal door, but we're okay for now. No stairwell needed there? <clears throat> Seems like a pretty far drop there, but okay. Oh, you can make like a little one there. Hell yeah, brother. Nice. Marco, thank you very much, dude, for the 250 with the lion face. Thank you very much. Or I guess tiger. Bears? Oh, my. I shouldn't have said it. Shouldn't have said it. Oh, well. Shouldn't have did it. It's like a zoomed out Icarus. Yeah, that's how things do look. And oh, look at it. Oh, we can make flood. Okay, so this is how we're going to be able to increase. Um, now that we have electricity, this is going to be a way where we can shoot and defend ourselves at night. So the floodlight there should allow us to light up a big area outside the camp. This is cool, man. Heaters, air vents. It's probably electric, right? We'll have to get power up too shortly. Lovely. Look at all those shelves, man. Another shelving unit there. Beautiful. Yeah, air vents can be closed and open. Same with windows, so we can try to... Um, the house is going to get really warm during the summers. So we'll probably have to have all the windows open. We can also build air conditioning units. So that's a thing. I'll speed up time. Nice. Everybody's doing a good job. We're making more weapons. We just made a spear. Hell yeah, brother. The El Cook Stove. Ah, yes. It's a Spanish cooking top. Couldn't stand for electric, could it? No. Couldn't possibly. Alright, let's give all of our crazy people weapons. That'll be fine. Shh. 
Sure, bruh. Smiley. A stone bed. The hell? Let's make some metal beds. Synthetic skin bark. Ooh, or leather. Fancy. How much synthetics do we have? We can do two synth... Uh, wait a minute. We're not going to have enough materials. Scrap cloth, 274. Can we make fabric out of that? Uh, we can. Cloth from scrap cloth. Okay. Is that what we can make a bed out of? Yep, okay. Let's make a bunch of cloth then. We need to make 50 fabric to make beds. Enough beds. And we need more of the house to be built. Everybody's on break again. Okay. Love a good rock pillow? Oh yeah. It's a solid night's sleep for sure. Sleep like a rock. So everybody's going to have nicer beds. We'll have some nicer food. Hopefully we can make some more complicated meals. We'll get on to tasty recipes, which will be... Oh, buttermelon pie. Ooh, hello. A little bit of grain and a little bit of buttermelon. We can make ourselves a good old pie. That does sound good. Buttermelon pie, yeah. It sounds sweet, savory, crispy. Hmm. Good stuff, man. Ooh. Sound good, chat? Here we go. There we go. Nobody got wounded in our last fight, too, by the way. So that was pretty good. All the extra time the boys had to go hunting and stuff and or practice with their guns. The firing range paid off. Weapon being made. Nice. Put a window in this room. Oh, the house is almost done. And we'll install the windows. We're probably going to make some rooms here. I'm going to make a bedroom maybe here. Maybe we'll make the kitchen here. We gotta be up to HOA standards, even in space. 
The Homeowners Association will find you. Stranded in Alien Dawn. Amen, brother, yeah. All right, the spears are done. Nice. Get Quinn a weapon. Oh. It took that long just to make one? Oh, boy. Oh, the house and stuff is looking so good. We could make inner walls out of wood. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah, we can we can make multiple floors, yes. Yeah, we can make stairs and make a whole second floor. Or like a defensive tower on it. I'm hoping at least. It'd be kind of cool to draft somebody, tell them to go to the second floor and then shoot there. Can you transfer storage to the new shelves? Uh, yes, we can. I just need to delete. I I'm just going to delete these shelves and then they'll just automatically carry it over here. But before anybody does anything, I just want them doing cooking, building, crafting. We gotta prepare for a gargantuan full-scale mega invasion, which might or might not happen. Who knows? Yeah, Quinn built a house all by himself. Oh. Bom, 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 bom. Oh, what? Wait. Research musical instruments. We now have a didgeridoo and the hand pan. Wow. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> Looks like Sims in space. You're not wrong, actually. I think at a certain point, these base building management games do become a little bit like the Sims, where it's at a certain point more about the farming and the cooking and the, you know, keeping everybody happy than it is actually like the defending and the gathering. You think Jayla can play the didgeridoo? Maybe that's why she's been angered this whole time. Well, let's build some... Uh, we need fabric, though. I think we're making one more spear. Yeah, we gotta make one more spear. They're almost done. Then we gotta make fabrics, then we can make beds. You were on the fence about buying the game and then you heard hand pan, now you're sold? Yeah, okay. That's that's sending people over the edge for the hand pan. I wonder if they'll actually play it. Alright, stay tuned. We're going to build that thing and see what uh, Jayla, J Jalayla, Jalila, J Jambalaya. We'll see what Jambalaya has to uh, Jambalayla. It's going to be her artist name. Dude, this looks sweet. House looks nice, man. Yeah, we'll call her J-Lo. Brother, yay, man.
Uh oh, she's having a uh, she's having a little old sad wander now. Thunderstorm. Okay, we can build a thing to capture electricity. That doesn't happen too often. Thunderstorms. That's gonna be like the last day of summer. I'm pretty sure, like the first year, you could probably just focus on building and setting up your house, and then just do some hunting. Like literally, we can go get one of these boys. We should have them observed. Find out what those are. Once the house is done, bedtime, and then instruments. You know, actually, the group really needs to be motivated. Everybody's having these breakdowns. Let's just build a damn... Didgeridoo. Well, wait a minute. It's used for relaxation, so does that only... Re relax one person? Is there a way to see what affects each person's mood? Yeah, you can kind of see the things that they prefer food-wise. Like here, Quinn likes uh, meat stew and making snowmen. Alright, all done with weapon making, so now everybody at least has a spear or a gun. Amen, brother. Let's get rid of these outside storages now. Empty and deconstruct. Moving everything inside. Alright. Move the stoves inside. Now we'll put them side by side. Need to have a big old kitchen. Gwen, what are you doing in there? What the hell are you doing? Oh, wait, what the hell? Wait, what? Quinn is on the lookout for his twin brother, a suspect of murder on the run. Determined to find out the truth, he wanders the universe as an onboard engineer, hoping to catch the trail of his brother. Yeah. Oh, no, dude, see that murder? That was my twin brother, dude. I gotta find him wherever he is. He's so good at hiding, he could be anywhere. Sure, dude. Wait, are you making more weapons? We don't need more spears, damn it. Here, make cloth. We got enough weapons. Layla just needs to pick up her spear and then we're good. This isn't listing that we have claw. Oh, there it is. Ten. Okay. Now we can start making beds. Moving everybody inside for the big old winter. Alright, hopefully Jayla will go play some music.
Ah, much more to do. Insufficient materials. Oh, yeah. The beds just need more fabric. Makes sense. Finally, man, we're upgrading the camp. Finally. Nice. We can build a stairwell up here to go upstairs, too, if we want to. So much room for activities. I'm going to move things around a little bit once they're constructed. We need like five benches too, right? They all don't eat at the same time, so there'll always be room. Actually, let me move the table. Wait, what? Looks like it's supposed to snap. Let's move the table first. <sighs> yeah, deconstructing does give us materials back, yep. He's actually doing it, you can hear it. Play a little didgeridoo, build a bed, you know how it is, all in a day's work. And then I'm gonna make my bed now. Alright, let's get rid of these crap beds. Ah, upgrades, guys. Feels good, man. Now, I think we can build stairs here to go upstairs, or maybe over here. And pan. I will say, this game runs really smooth. Like, no frame loss, no, no real hiccups to speak of in performance at all. Well, let's bring the chairs inside. Yeah, no lag. Yeah, there's autosave. Seems like the autosave um, seems to like save it once every couple of minutes and then keeps multiple files. Oh, looks like they don't care what kind of uh, chair you put down. That's nice. You can build whatever type of um, chair you want for the table. It's just based on aesthetics. That's cute. That's pretty cute. Wow. 
Alright, time for the old beds to go. We should build a furnace for the house too, right? We need to build a heating stove. I guess we could put that right here. I wonder if the uh, kitchen stoves make heat too. Oh, dude! Best game ever. The kitchen stoves actually leave a little stove pipe. Look at that, man. Oh, and so does the heat. Oh, look at that. There's actual realistic exhaust. Best game ever created. Game of the year. No need to play God of War, guys. Manor Lords, you know. It was good, but this game, game of the year. <laughs> That's cool. Most games, like, don't even bother. They just, like, show a pipe going up to the ceiling and then you never see it come out of the roof. Wow. Better than Manor Lords and Farthest Frontier? Never heard of them. We can build a tall window. Oh, out of metal. That's cool. Yeah, the game game map is massive. Pretty cool. I feel like we could build a porch here, too, but without a reason to do it, it's kind of like, eh. Oh, we could also make double doorways. Oh, we could probably make double doorways, too. That actually might help with the uh, heating and cooling, too. Are you knocked out or are you sleeping? Unconscious? Why? Well, oh, alright. Let's finish our wall and throw in a door. We'll move the beds around a little bit. I guess we could put a, a wardrobe in the corner or something? Apparently it's for clothing, but maybe that's just for them to switch from summer to winter clothes? And we can also put an air vent in. Look at that! We got a stove! Or a heater, a furnace. Nice. Put a vent then. Right here. Oh, we could even put ceiling lamps in. Oh, that's great. We could do lighting inside the house from the ceiling. Pog lad, that's sweet. Now we're just starting to see the beginning of the game. Like, this is early stuff. This is cool. Get rid of that stuff. Get rid of that. Um, not going to put the punching bag inside. We'll put recreation over here, I guess. Might build the, uh, well, maybe we'll put it here for now. Punching bag there. the target there. Alright, so outdoor materials still need to be stored, but we could store them inside. Construction materials, that is. So we could... They have to be stored on the, the floor, though, which is kind of... Like, we could build, like, a little shack with no walls to put that stuff in. What is all this? Oh, they have to pick up the stuff and actually store it. Now we need windows. Go with regular wooden. Oh, that looks nice. Wow. Do 
You cried when Luke Skywalker used the Infinity Gauntlet to defeat the Borg invasion? Dude, that was a phenomenal ending to it. Star Trek. Only real Trekkies know, dude. If you didn't know that's what you call yourself if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, yeah. Some of you probably didn't know. Dude, I gotta say, this is a pretty damn sweet house builder. I mean, I'm pretty impressed with the house building. I mean, it looks cool. What I really want to see now is, like, what it's like if you build the second floor. I, I just want to put a tower on the house and see if I can just go up there with the gun. You know what I mean? Wow, look at how the... Dude. The roofs actually attempt to blend together. There was some thought that went into this house building and building on, like, annexes and extensions. Damn, that's cool. Yeah, the windows do actually add functionality. They'll keep things cool. It says provide room with ventilation and lighting while open and conserves heat while closed. So it's a way to naturally light rooms and things. That's pretty cool. Music night. When you have musical instruments, you need music. And music is everything everyone needs to make a party. Let's gather and dance at 1900. Good idea. Everyone can dance. Who is that one... What's the name of that one famous dancer? You guys remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Rhythm is a dancer, Chad, not Tiny Dancer. Wait, you mean Tony Danza? Hold Me Closer Tony Danza? Uh, sir, this is private property. Thank you. Now, where are we going to put, uh, research? I guess we could put it up against there. Maybe we'll build a second floor eventually, but we'll try to just stuff everything inside for winter. And if we need food, which we will, we will go hunting. Everybody's too busy moving stuff now, though. What? You can't put a desk in front of a window? Alright, that's a negative one. I guess I'll just rotate it. Oh well, that's the only draw that's the only drawback I've seen so far. Also the weird clearing of grass patches, that's another weird thing too. That's the only weirdness is Apparently somebody comes out with a lawnmower and not being able to put like a desk below a window. Move the punching bag and use the corner for covered building storage. Yeah, I might do that. I was also thinking of maybe building a workshop out back. Like maybe I'll put a building here and either use this for raw material storage or we could use it for something to do with farming. Oh, yeah, the chopping block. And then... We could make an actual nice... Oh, man, look at, look, look at all these wardrobes and things. Oh, that's storage for clothing and weapons. Okay. Maybe we should think about getting power up. Could build a battery. Build that near the kitchen. Then we'll... 
Probably put some solar panels out here, maybe. Did the flying bug just steal a basket? Did it? Bro, we have a house now. We have a freaking house. No more, f not as many freakouts now. Just a little mild vomiting, you know? Not a problem. Can I build like a nice little wooden shelter? A stick shelter. Oh. I wish we could make like a nice little thing to put on the side of the house. This would be perfect for uh This would be perfect for like storing firewood or something. Oh, it's music night. Gathering for celebration where? By the instruments or what? Oh, nice. Can't wait to hear what they play. Attending music night. Go, go, go. Yay. What a celebration. All right, let's get a wind turbine up. A classic, yeah. So I guess those little creatures will steal from you if you don't keep things covered. Little turd. Oh, they're all celebrating. Now what are they playing? Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. Or how about this one? Give your love to a cowboy man. He's gonna love you hard as he can. can. <laughs> Layla's just eating pure syrup. Literally just brought, went into the fridge and just busted out a big old tub of syrup. Wow. Big O tub. All right, where's the? Uh, is it storage fridge? Yeah, okay. Wow, that's a big ass fridge, dude. All right, well, hopefully the windmill powers the batteries, which will power the refrigerator, and we don't have to worry about spoilage as much. Don't ask me where we're getting Freon. Nobody knows. Oh, that's right, we have L Cook Stove. Well, we'll use that L next month. Or next year. We'll conserve the battery for the uh, all the frozen foods. We'll try to stack that full. And we can use all the firewood. It's fine. Chop down a couple more trees for firewood. Ooh, look at the full colors. Pretty. Yeah, all the res uh, all the uh, cooking recipes maybe reset. Nope, it actually saved them. Nice. We're okay on food for a little bit. Now that everybody's moved everything inside, we do have a little bit of time to go hunt a bug or somebody who's wandered onto our property. Opportunity has presented itself. Oh, a tailor's bench, too. Oh, we can make one out of wood that, or metal. That's cool. Yeah, whatever you have more of. Let's make a metal bench. Yeah, we're kind of out of room for stuff. We'll put it there for now. So I think wherever we point our mouse is you can see the temperature now. So here it's like four, five, six degrees Celsius. And inside the bedroom it's negative one. So we got to ask everybody to start closing the windows for the year. 
Keep everything nice and toasty. So we, we literally got to go to every window and tell them to close them, and then a worker will actually come over and do that. But this will help to keep it uh, cool in the summer, too, when we open all the windows. The ventilation is a thing, lighting is a thing. Maybe we can get some lighting in here. Oh, the battery's ready, nice. Get his ass! Get him, Ken! Eee! Got a runner! Hell yeah. Uh, are these not connected? Oh. Oh well. Well, we'll put a power pole here. That's fine. Game looks amazing. Yeah, well, now it's like kind of starting. Like the whole first couple hours was figuring out all the mechanics and like exploring and learning all the creatures and what they do, being cautious. Next year, like next spring, we could start farming and figuring out what we want the most of. And we have electricity. The fridge actually works. Consuming eight, consumed in the last 24 hours, four. Battery is charging. That's five out of a thousand, nice. And then the solar panel will go up and that'll give us more power, nice. So we got enough to like power the fridge, which is nice. And I guess we could build a lightning rod just in case. This protects the house, I guess. Probably a good idea to protect the electronics in the house. And we'll move this stuff closer to the house, too. Where's our fusion reactor? I'm trying to do an Italian-Asian fusion. I think it'll be robust. Asian-style robust fusion. Okay, so it's now full... There seems to be a darker color for when it gets later. I wonder if that's if it'll say late autumn, just as an increased warning of winter. Yeah, now the house is like nine Celsius, ten. Nice. Clearly, we're gonna need some more heat. We better get De Niro and uh, everybody else in there then. So maybe a fireplace would have been a little better. Charge is at 107. Wow, okay, so one windmill is actually bringing us enough for a, a fridge and maybe a heater. I think we're going to build a heater inside too and then we'll do light. Lights consume one. But the small electric heater <clears throat> hopefully will be enough to heat the room. This is at five degrees, so let's go ahead and build a vent here too. So hopefully the heat from the fireplace, the stoves, and the... Um, Electric heater will kind of move around a little bit. Yeah, we just got to focus on food now. Which, yeah, we can make meat soup now. Since we've killed one of the big boys out there. 
meat. Oh, a bird nest. Oh, did we study these big boys yet? The Ulfin. Well, it's time to do some hunting. We need that meat. Yeah, stairs. Yeah, well, I mean, what we could do is build an extension to the house and build a small little... something or other. Love the way the house turned out, though. Really cool. Do we need to connect the solar panel? Um, yes, I think. Unless it... Let's see. Well, it's dark, so it's hard to tell if I... Oh, yeah, it needs to be a little closer to the power pole. Let's move it to the other side. That's fine. I think there should be a way to wire without building these power lines. The only way around that would be to build a power pole, and it's like... Come on. Actually, wait. Oh, you can build metal ones. Yeah, not really necessary. Now, if this thing gets a thousand charge, we should be good. It seems to be getting closer to that. And it's just going to move the solar panel from here to there. Amen, brother. Uh, I don't see a wire going to it, though. So. It's close. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. All right, it's fine. How's the hunt going, Ken? Stun, 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 stun locked. Hope you guys don't mind. We're just butchering one of your friends. Nice. Calm down, sir. Good. We'll see what winter has in store for us on this one. The research is kicked up again. Things are going real nice. And now we can make hats, boots, jackets. Let's make some jackets. Fur coat, warm coat, light jacket. Make five of them. See if we can get everybody a jacket. So now we've got cloth being made from all of the scraps that we got. And then, of course... Leather and stuff from the big boys. Sorry, fellas. We'll use the whole buffalo. Berries are ready for harvest. Nice. And hell yeah, brother. Lots of stew. This is nice, ma'am. Kind of, like, the house kind of looks bland on the outside, but this is much better than what I've seen in most games. Like, this is actually kind of impressive. It does, as somebody mentioned earlier, look like, it reminds me a lot of um, Icarus, but RimWorld. So RimWorld and Icarus with a little bit of, like, surviving the aftermath with how the power system works. We're getting a lot of power, damn. Palpatine's going to be jealous, baby. <laughs> oh, we can put wall lamps or ceiling lamps in. Let's throw a bunch of lamps in now. Will the house burn down then? Okay, Shane. Alright. Listen here, pal. Security. 
Also, that was Jerry's fault. I think. Oh yeah, there's bear. Oh yeah, bear attacks. Yeah. All right, let's build a exterior house now, just to store stuff outside. So what is that a four? Okay, that's gonna be. Now we could do a three by four, but I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a four by four for this. Amen, brother. Four by four. Thought you'd never ask. So this is just going to be for the outdoor construction materials to shelter them from the snow. And then we can build a farm here. We should be able to start farming. Now the other thing is we kind of want to build like a wall around the camp to defend us against anything. So I guess what we could do is it's probably going to be pretty easy to build a wall that just goes down this way, this way, and then this way. We only got to defend on three sides, so we may as well just build around the farm too. You need medicines for the parasites. Yeah, we do. I don't know exactly what to do yet for that, though. We we have the option to ferment grain, but I, it might be not be in the season anymore. They got sleep parasites, which give them negative 10 per cycle. But we did research something to counteract that. Oh, wow. Look at the house actually lit. Lit AF, bro. Look at that. Oh, my God. The Sims. Look at that, man. Wow. That's actually decent, man. Jeez. And then we could put an outside light to come on, and that way when you come home, if it's on, you know you're in trouble because you're late. Wow. Dude. Impressive. Is this a demo? No, this is an early access game, but... I mean, the beginning is certainly solid. Some of the things that seem to be missing are other biomes to build in and a few other options for scenarios that you can play out, but I'm impressed. Only thing we need now is a little bit more food, but all of our old food is rotting, so we just need to get new stuff. Well, we can always do some hunting, brother. Amen. Oh, here's some free food. Grain cobs. Now we can make porridge for a while. Jayla, don't have a meltdown now. Uh, Ken, what the... Oh, my God. Clean up in bedroom. God. All right, let's build a wardrobe. Oh, we can build a metal gun locker. Sweet. Amen, brother. So that's for tools, clothing, guns. And all that stone that we gathered. Nice. Ah, we can move this storage here now. We could have easily put a thing on this, uh, walls on this, and make it into a, a building. We could do that now, even. Well, let's just put stuff inside. There we go. Cool. Uh, what's in the research queue? I think it's... Um, hay cloth. Yeah, that takes a while. We'll be able to make cloth out of, like, fibers. Probably good since we're making... Um, I don't see a lot of it around, but we're making jackets, so we need fabric for that. What are these? Ooh, more grain cob, yeah. Uh, 
All right, we'll go out and grab some more food, and we're going to cut some more trees so we can get uh, firewood for the winter. We'll see how brutal the um, winters are on this planet shortly. There we go. Hey, brother, yeah. Boys, thanks for the 800 likes. Thank you very much, everybody, for supporting the stream, the channel, the community. Thanks for being a part of it. It's been a hell of a lot of fun so far. Wardrobes in place? Damn. Hey, battery's filling up nicely. Yeah, no bathroom. I haven't seen... Uh, I don't think that's a thing in the game just yet. Maybe soon. We're going to finish up the shack and then... Uh... Yeah, there's animal events. I don't know about raiders, but there could be. Maybe. Maybe there'll be a game mode coming for that. Maybe it already exists where people will find you on the planet and try to rob you and then leave. Raptor, don't forget that the scarabees attack wood, so scrap metal barrier walls are better protection. Hmm. Good point. Unfortunately, the only type of tower we can build right now is wood, but... I think the wood towers are generally more if, uh, armored than the uh, wall. What you could do is build a tower, then when those critters go to attack, you could just come up behind them and stab them with a couple of spearmen. All right, we got lots of raw food. Now we got to make some food for a long time. Lots of meat. Lots of dried meat, too. All right. So dried meat apparently is raw food. Not cooked. Well, I guess, yeah, it doesn't count as a cooked meal, but I wouldn't call it raw either. Oh, chat. What's that white stuff? Uh-oh. Temperature outside is 4. Temperature inside is 14, 5. A little warmer to the... Uh... Now we could do another electric heater. This one's keeping the room pretty... pretty okay. 8 Celsius is not great, but... We got plenty of electricity. Make sure nobody gets sick. Let's try to keep it close to 20. Damn, we might have to build a second battery rack. Maybe a fireplace has better heating? True. It's going to gobble up our sticks, though. And we still need somebody to go make uh, sticks on the chopping block. But we're getting... Everybody's, like, finishing building the new storage hut. Lots of stuff going on. Alright, Simon reached level 4 crafting. New apparel, coat, excellent. We made warm coats for everybody. Or at least somebody. Yep, 
Yeah, now we're going to have to start making shirts. So next year, that's probably what this crop is going to be important for. This little cotton thingy over here. These are going to be for making fabrics. That's going to allow us to make shirts, pants. Oh, come on, guys. We have a really nice house. Don't be sad. All right, what do we got for new entertainment? Oh, the dartboard. Did we get rid of that? I guess that got disassembled, didn't it? I guess the dart board got disassembled when we took down the... Alright, what else do we got for fun? And research. Eventually we'll probably move research to its own building. Uh, let's see, leather armor. That's going to be important afterwards. Freezers seem like it'll be important. Yeah, I don't know why the wedding arch is like the first thing you unlock. Or maybe it's a pre-order thing? I have no idea. We'll build a ferment fer fermentation barrel. Well, we could build that out here. Out in the shack. Wait, it needs access from four directions? Oh. Now yeah, we'll build it later. So the things to learn in the next year are going to be like fermentation, uh, farming, fabrication of stuff from those other crops. Nice. Are there books for entertainment? Um, I haven't seen any sort of books or anything. Oh, that's cool. Power switch we can actually... Uh... Oh yeah, that's another cool thing too, is that you can separate power grids. So if you wanted to put all your lights on grid 1 and your freezers and stuff on grid two if you hit low power you can just separate you can turn off the lights and save all the power for other things so you can actually separate your power grid that way which is really cool yeah we're gonna have to build a separate building for a lot of stuff so this will be extra storage we're gonna have to make a building just for farms and things does the save work it does yeah yeah pickling and canning will be useful especially once we get the farming up and we can store large amounts of stuff yeah, we'll make, we'll definitely have to make like a, I don't think we can make a cellar. We'll definitely make another building for that. We're going to add it onto here. We're just going to use this for raw materials, but I don't, maybe we could put a shelf in the back or something. Well, we have five people at the moment, but I don't know if eventually more people show up. I, I don't know if it's five, ten, hundred people. Oh. Common cold. I've been feeling sick lately. It's probably just a cold, nothing to be done about it. I hope that it won't escalate into something nasty. Try not to sneeze in other people's faces. Wow. Well, just stay in bed a little bit or something. Layla, for the love... You, ma'am? Okay, this is why you have a cold. You're literally... Oh my god. The best approximation of a human that one can make out of the snow will melt when it's warmer. She has been a pain in the ass the entire stream. Oh good, she's making coats. Alright, well that'll help with the cold. Never mind, I take back what I said. Ooh, the game wants us to explore now. Travel time, fly the balloon high and look around for points of interest. New expedition sites may be unlocked as a result. Okay, so now we can build a balloon, and this might be where we go and find new people. Kind of works like how it does in Frostpunk with expeditions and such. We gotta research that though. I don't. I don't think we've researched that. 
That'll be interesting as hell to see how that works. Oh, look at that. Automated gun turrets, flamethrowers, landmines. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, there's the, uh, the long distance travel, but we need to find or produce liquid fuel. So I have no idea where we get liquid fuel from. Find or produce CPU cores. So we gotta find liquid fuel, maybe through dis distillation? Oh wow, we could actually make booze. Does that sweet syrup make booze, maybe? Insect fats becomes fuels, maybe. Hmm, maybe. Yeah, I don't know what uh, could be fuel. I haven't seen anything that's looked like a deposit. Like, I haven't seen like an oil well or anything. So it could be a plant, it could be an animal. What's the difference between brewing and distillation? Uh, good question. I think brewing is for beer. Yeah, making ale and distillation is for... Um... Sugars. Wait a minute. Maybe we can make ethanol. Fuel mixing is below cereal coffee, is it? Ah, there it is, yep. But it still says we need to... Okay, yep, you're right. Find or produce oils slash fats. Okay, so we may... maybe we can make biofuel that way. That might be it. Okay, so we can start killing a bunch of insects. So like when they attack us. And we can turn that into fats and then maybe make that into oil via the oil press. Okay. So it looks like we'll be able to get it through either possibly vegetables. So yeah, we could either make like maybe ethanol or ve vegetable oil type things. Or fats. Okay, good call. Yep. Oh, heat pumping. We can move things around. What? Laura and Simon are lovers now. Okay, then. Oh, now we gotta make a double bed. Great. Yeah, we'll have to produce the wedding arch. Oh boy. This has been phenomenal. I've enjoyed this so far. What do you guys think? Should we, uh, one's in the chat if we should play this more and continue on with the, um, the building of the house. We got a lot of extra technology to find. I feel like this is just the beginning of the game, is building your initial starting house. But there's so much more to research, even stuff we don't know about. So we gotta find, like, we gotta, we gotta do fuel mixing. I mean, we have yet to really even see major attacks, so things like being able to build walls, then trap our gates, and then leave the gate open, be like, oh no, the bugs are attacking and our gate is open, and then they walk right into a machine gun nest. <laughs> And then boom, then we got all the animals coming right to us with all the animal fats. And then that brings us some pure diesel, brother. Hell yeah. Oh good oh here we go. Oh perfect. Oh, are the, are you mad about that time I shot one of your friends? Sorry about that. Alright, I think we should build a tower. I don't know if our uh, people can uh I don't know if our people can defend with spears against flying animals. I would imagine they have to, like, fly down to attack and then we can stab them. Well, let's build a little, little defense. It's only 50 wood. It's not that much. I think we'll just build, like, a back-to-back -back defensive tower. What we could do is we could just build like a little wall here and then a gate and then just use it as kind of like a little little fort. I think. 
But our boys have guns, so, I mean, you know, come at me, bro. <laughs> come at me. Yeah, the insects are out in force today. I see. That is for sure. Let's see here. All right, that should be good. All right, so the bugs are going to attack. We have to make fuel. We got a lot more things to research and a hell of a lot more to build in this game, that's for sure. But uh, Stranded Alien Dawn, a delightful surprise. I, when, I, when the trailer showed up at uh, Gamescom slash like Gummer, what was it, like uh, like a preview to Summer Games Fest or something like that, it was, I was like, ooh, what the heck? I don't think this is going to be, ooh. What, uh, but it actually turned out good so far. We'll see. So, all right. Well, if you guys want to see more of Stranded Alien Dawn, we're going to go take our first look right now in a new video going live on the channel. So go ahead and click or tap the link that's just popped up in the chat. And we're going to go build some defenses. So if you guys want to see a big old battle in the game, flamethrowers, traps, machine guns going off, and more about the power grid, make sure you click or tap the link that just popped up in the chat. Or you'll be live redirected to a YouTube premiere of this video going live right now on the channel. So check it out. Be amongst some of the first to check it out live on the channel. And uh, you guys can participate in the live chat as well. And smash like if you'd like to see more of Stranded Alien Dawn. I like this. I think we're going to have to play this again more. Because it's just, we haven't even gotten to winter yet. And there's so much more to discover. Unfortunately, we're just out of time. But let's spend some time checking out the new video and all the new stuff there is from the tutorials. All right, I'll see you guys there and a little bit later for more Big O streams. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. And enjoy the video going live right now. See you soon.